I had to match you. I knew you was coming with your unit. So I had to come with the bald head. Spice, I just want you to know you are the best ever, bro. You are. I'm so glad you do what you do, bro. You are the best. <laughs> bro, Nobody can no, do it either. Nobody can do what Spice Adams does, bro. It's the best. <laughs> bro, let me, let me, I, I was going to say, I'm going to wait till some people get in here, but I was going to say this, man. Let me, this is how much Spice is, an, is, a, is a character. I went to his page looking for a picture for the flyer. And there are no pictures of Spice. There's nothing of Spice being pictures. himself, bro. He don't know how to be right. He can't. It's he only can't do right. Green Biggles and what you say now, Chuck? He's always <laughs> playing. All he do is play. All, and this is coming from me. <laughs> I got no, nobody. Nobody ever takes me serious, bro. Sometimes I'll be having some real stuff going on and everybody be like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, I, I ran out of gas one time, dog. Like for real. I don't know how you can do it if you're over 30, but it happened to me. I ran out of gas and nobody believed me, bro. <laughs> Yo, Spice, when I fell down the stairs, my youngest son, I, they were like, What took so long? I was like, I fell down the stairs and this one came my shoulder. He was like, Yeah, all right. And I was like, No, I really, <laughs> I really did, bro. I mean, I'm in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> they wouldn't believe me, bro. If I was bleeding, they think it was fake blood. I played too much. Yep. I, 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 I lie too much. I always lie. And so now no one ever believes me when I'm telling them the truth. But I usually tell people right after I lie to them, I'm like, I'm just kidding. But I lie all day. And now That's all you do is lie. <laughs> all I do is lie. Now I can't get people to believe me when I really need help. So I completely understand that. Yeah, man. <laughs> the gift of the curse, man. Man, that gift part the right curse. there. Man, what y'all think about this? First off, we got Cleo in the building too. What up, what up, what up, what up? Yo, Spice Adams, first and foremost, brother. What'd you say now, Spice? What'd you say now, Spice? <laughs> That's first and foremost. Thank you for such an incredible tagline that will go down in history. history. I love it. Kev. <sighs> I'm coming for you next, Cleo. I'm getting Kev, the Cleo Thomas. Kev. Come to the side. Let me get a picture of it so I can send it to my wig maker. Kev. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, brother. If there was anything more anticipated than today's versus battle between DMX and Snoop Dogg, it was you debuting that goddamn wig <laughs> on your head. I don't want to hear unit. Not, no, stop trying to flip it to your advantage. Oh, it's a unit. No, it's a unit. No, no. Respect I know some hair dressers. That is women, a women, women started calling it a unit once the store costing more than two hundred dollars. Anything <laughs> that costs more than two fifty is a unit. What is that hat? This. Yeah, this the hat. Yeah, it's a it's a black owned beanie. It just says black owned. Cleo, I'm gonna get you a unit for your top lip so you can have a full mustache. Hey, let's let's <laughs> let's thirty seconds. Listen, let me tell you something. I hate as that a man who lacks that. a mustache who doesn't let it grow. I ain't got one complaint yet, so I'm gonna just let it rock right here all day. That's because you were on tour of Bow Wow. They think you still got that Bow Wow money. Here, you always find a way to bring that up, bro. I mean. <laughs> The Bow Money Scream Tour was amazing. But let me tell you, this slick living run though, bro. Bro, let me Cleo tell you, was killing it as a hype man. Don't disrespect him to here. It was never disrespect. Oh, no. It was oh, never let me disrespect. Tell you. It, you know, the crazier part about it is it's like, okay, so we do roll bounce and then we go on to do Scream Tour that summer. So three months, every single arena around the, around the United States sold out. Boom, amazing. After that, I ended up going on tour with Sean Kingston on his first, very first arena tour. I put together his entire show because he had never done arenas before. So I'm like, oh, you haven't done it. I've done it. Let me help you. Boom, 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 boom. He's like, yo, I don't want to go out here alone. Can you come with me? Bet. I'll meet you in New York. So boom, we do the first show. Bet. Uh, then the Soldier Boy run. Soldier's been doing screen, I mean, arenas forever, forever, but he needed a new artist. So I'm like, all right, bet. Let's, let's get to work. So in the grand scheme of it all, brother, all of the great things that have happened in my life to lead me to this moment here, I feel good to talk amongst I the OGs. I didn't know you went on tour with Soldier Boy. Kev, hey, let me tell you, the, Kev, the Boy this, thing, I didn't know about brother, this isn't a little chapter. I'm 31 years old, Kev, but I'm a veteran, a vet. You've had a long career already. Soldier Boy finna turn 30 this year, bro. That's facts. Let me ask you this, when you were planning that tour, was it stressful for Sean Kingston? Yes, because he didn't understand uh, uh, pacing. He so didn't is that, is that what happened? Did your mustache fall off from that? He thought he was asking you a real question, Cleo. You should have known. He, he got me. Fought. 
You he should saw that. I knew he didn't mean nothing serious. Why would he care about the stress level of Sean Kingston? Why would Tahir As I came into this that? chat, I heard Tahir say, no one ever believes him because he lies quite well. So now, officially, as of today, July 22nd, a Wednesday, I will never, never take him seriously, bro. He's always setting you up. Don't take anybody on here serious. I'm supposed to look like DMX. I look terrible. Kev got a unit on. To here's in LA with a jean jacket on. <laughs> it is hot. It's hot. That's what I'm saying. Got, you can't take nobody on this joint serious. There's no Next. reason to have look, it. What's, what's T. Baker going to have on when, when he get on here? Oh. He go, Here's the thing. Cleo doesn't have a mustache. Tony doesn't have a beard. Tony would. Tony has what Snoop has, like this right here, but no beard. And I'd be like, Oh, the, the full man too. Oh, actually, no, no. Tony doesn't have the mustache too. Tony, Tony, yeah, Tony, Tony and Cleo are the same person. I hated Snoop's. This right here, whatever Snoop, the handlebar he got. Oh, oh just throw your. Face he had the Hulk away. Hogan thing going, bro. Remember oh, when Hulk Hogan got away? <laughs> but hands down, top three versus battle ever. Top three. Oh man, this, this joint is live. I'm, I'm still watching it. The DMX, bro. I'm so people was acting like DMX had three songs. Like I get Whoa, it. Yes. I'm bro, on they now. was acting like I was like, bro, y'all, do y'all, you can't have two number one albums in one year and in not the same happen. year. In the same year, Spice. Dog. Listen, bro, DMX was hot. Yes, he was. Who's doing that? I was watching it for the sole purpose of creating gifts. Oh, Snoop was having the time of his life. <laughs> this is, I just I just posted this GIF on Giphy. I was like, this is me when I get the notification that Postmates has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Snoop was having a good old time two-stepping, bro. You had to see it, it was amazing. Listen, Snoop brought it out of DMX. If, if Snoop wouldn't have been him, they just would have been going back and forth, but Snoop brought the personality out, personality out man. It was- yes, um, Oh, the, the, the funniest thing, dog was Snoop was like, yo, I'm gonna do some of your ad-libs, DMX. And he was like, all right, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's cool, man, do, do, do my, whatever, blah, blah, blah. When DMX tried to do Snoop's ad-libs, oh my. <laughs> it was, <laughs> Jenny Juice, no, you sir. cannot, <laughs> DMX cannot do Snoop ad-libs. Hey, man, uh, if anything, his X voice is too distinct, bro. It's just, Two, it's two different levels, dog. It's too distinct, bro. His voice is way too, too intense. That was that was such a that was such a good versus, man. And I love how DMX at first was just sitting there like an uncle or auntie rocking back and forth. Like that's how he was. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, he, he asked for some Kool Aid. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey man, I'm trying to figure out the end of the day between these two. I think. Personally, I feel everyone was like, oh, Snoop. Everyone everyone jumped on the Snoop train. But it was when you started hearing these hits back to back to back amongst between the two, you're like, oh, damn. I think it's because Snoop has released so much more music. Like, Snoop mm -hmm. didn't really get into his features on other people's songs that deep. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, and DMX didn't release uh, music. He hasn't released as much music as Snoop. So I think people were like, bro, Snoop automatically, because he has so many different styles. Yes. But bro, DMX has been, he didn't play um stop drop until like two hours in. Yes. Where the hood at till like two hours in? Bro, he was going crazy. Now I will say this, he he needs to he gotta increase his 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 cardio, bro. Cause he don't he, have to do nothing. Oh, to no hear. lungs. No, no lungs. He don't have to do nothing. He's almost 50 years old. That's what uncles look like. He ain't on the road right now. Let him live. <laughs> All when, bodies matter. When, when it's over, he gonna want to get back on the road because he saw, bro. They had, I think, Snoop said one point two million. It was five hundred thousand yeah. alone on on Instagram. I watched it on Apple TV. And I would say this much better experience. So much Apple. better on Apple TV. So, so what did it look like? Better. What did it look like? Over it on there. It, it looked. It was clear. There was no no lagging. There was no glitches. It was amazing on Apple TV. That's and the they point. Was, was, was DMX platforms. still tired though? Oh, he was tired the entire time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was the, tired. The dog was tired. The entire time. He had he nothing. Sat down, he sat down after every song like, whew, Jesus. He was <laughs> winded. I'm like, I'm like, D, drink water, nigga. Drink water. The, the dog's got a rest. <laughs> he sat down with his legs open. You know? He sat down with his legs open slow so he didn't smash his balls. That's how I knew he was tired. 
That and was... all his samples were sh way shorter than. He's like, look, I'm gonna give y'all half. I'm gonna give y'all two verses, but you know, I got high blood pressure. I gotta sit down. I can't give you the look first half of the song. Oh, you gotta go, Spice. Avion is calling me right now. I, I saw that. I'm like, how you gonna have time to do this? Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood at? I watched every second of it. It was incredible. I didn't think he was going to have to go. So. But I, I honestly think between the two of them, it was so... It, I don't want to say this was well-produced because it, it, it feels like to me after watching it that they were like, all right, what are you leading with? Here's what I'm leading with. But what oh, are we yeah, for with? sure. Thank you, Kev. For you sure, I, you know, it was it was it was It was like a tour. Like, these are the songs I'm going to play. Like when Snoop was introducing his song, they had already played it a little bit on accident. Like, don't act like it's like, which okay, it's okay. Which, exactly, I exactly. I don't mind it. It's a yeah, better yeah. viewing experience to have it have it synced out. Yes. It was produced, but all good yeah, things. Yeah, you think produced. Apple Music was gonna pay all that money and have some mess ups? Hey, Apple. listen. But there's two moments in that in that stream where I'm. Hey, the dog, the dog got to shoot an IG live. Yo, any Apple, any Apple Music family, representative, <laughs> any Apple Music representative that was in the room or watching definitely had to look at their phone, like, or the screen, like, because when when DMX went a little off and be like, yeah, you know, you gotta write your pain, you gotta write your pain, and but, he went uh, on a little freestyling. Hey, how, how terrible do I look as DMX though? You everybody look great. Keep, everybody right. keeps calling you R. Kelly. Everybody keeps saying R. Kelly in the in the in the, in the chat. I want to go to a church where DMX is my pastor. His prayer, when that thing began, I was like, is he rhyming? No, no, no. No, no, from the light. <laughs> but in the light, in Philippians 4.13, <laughs> I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. When two or more are together in prayer, you are in the midst. But out of the light, I'm the door in a fist. Kev, could DMX was... be a guest preacher at any place that you go and talk what? about? Okay. Do you not feel his passion? DMX Talk ain't playing with God. <laughs> he was, I bet hey. you. I bet you God will rather hear some prayer from DMX than regular Christians. Mm. DMX, DMX is scared, not scared. Like, hey, mm. he is oh, sincere. Well, God listen, knows Spice, my heart. Spice, if if y'all if y'all end up uh, ended early, man, just pop back in. Both y'all are welcome to, to to pop back in. I can shoot it to Avion, or you can just forward it to him if y'all end early. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 Bet it up. I spice. The dog might be back. I spice. Scaring the family, spice. Would you say not Chuck? Like, <laughs> no, that's right. Hey, I love my whole family. Your know, DMX uh, would scare you into an altar call. You're like, look, I wasn't gonna give my life to Christ, but the past is scary. So I'm gonna go uh, with a good altar call. <laughs> my man X said, "Yo, shout out to all my baby mamas." I was like, "Oh shit." <laughs> except, except, except that bitch and that bitch and <laughs> he said hey, I'm telling my man with my girl bro I just play that record bitches ain't um, shit but hoes tricks like, I play that shit you trying to look cute in the doorway nah fuck out of here I was like <laughs> I watched every Thanks. second I was like god I wish I, I want to go rob a liquor store have sex with three different men th th that whole thing just made you forget that you are like you know an adult with responsibility what a time, bro. <laughs> We've come so far, man. Like, for real, there wasn't no, there wasn't no internet like this for DMX in his time. No. Uh, and he was confused by it, too. He was like, you keep telling yeah, me for the there's a million people here. I see the same 10 niggas, you know? <laughs> and he tried to play it all like he was Joe. I'm like, no, you don't know how the internet works, son. You don't know. You confused. <laughs> you don't know. That was great, man. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? What up, what up, what Snoop what got all the energy in the world. I'm like, he, he must tire out his wife. Snoop got No, he spreads stamina. his neck around, Jackie. He, he, does, he, he doesn't have to only go with her. <laughs> he does now, Kevin. Coming from you, I'm ashamed of you. He is he, only about his wife now. Oh, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. That's what I heard. You know, I don't know him. <laughs> Snoop, 48 years old, bro. He still got a lot of energy He's 50 before now. Hey, bro, that's a, hard, that's a hard life to live. Snoop, being Snoop is a hard life to live. Being Snoop's wife, I'm <laughs> sure, is an even harder life to live. Sometimes you gotta take that They're L for the team, though. It's Snoop. <laughs> you said what now, Miss Jackie? Fabulous. Sometimes you gotta take that L for the team. Like, yeah, I know he out there fucking everyone in America and parts of Kenya, but I love him. <laughs> <laughs> everyone in America and parts of Kenya. But it's Snoop though. It's such a random, a random geographic location to throw in. 
He's like, like I got, you know, I got to head. I got to head over to Kenya. I got seven women left. <laughs> he's like everybody in LA, parts of Fresno. He he's particular about oh. the way he spreads it around. Jeez! Shout out to S N W O P, man. <laughs> that was great. I, was I had so, a great It was time. so good. It was. It was. It was, so, man. I watched every second of it. I did not want to stop watching it, even when hey, DMX played a song, and I was like, I don't know what this is, sweetheart. But I still listened to it. Yeah. Here's the <laughs> thing. I went through. I went through his catalog today, and I was like, He gonna play this. He gonna play this. And he literally played everything I said he was gonna play. That was dope. Did you did you stay on to it? Because they they freestyle after it was done. I and... didn't. I had to go buy some alcohol. Oh. <laughs> And Snoop was freestyling, and he kept throwing the mic back to D, and D was kind of like Snoop. I'm done, man. Cause I <laughs> was like, yo, back. this is old record. It's the '80s. I don't know this record. I don't hey, know. This what, shit. what is Jackie doing in here? First of all, I'm first out. All, I'm okay. out. Oh my. <laughs> What I didn't it? sign up for Jackie tonight. <laughs> I'm just, you know what? I'm plugged. The, grab the, cut the, cut the light off. Put, uh, the, put the cats in the car. Put, you know, you know. Put the cats. Tony's in the a car. real dad because he didn't even finish his statement. He was like, "Grab the, I'm plugged. Get, the, grab put, the, get it in, get it around over. Hold it. <laughs> Sick of this. Where, where are my keys? Let me get some water, Leslie. The visual of you putting cats in a car is funny because you know the cats ain't gonna go where they supposed in to the be. In the car seat, they be like, when you pick them up, they be. Tony, your comments. One of DMX's songs, you were like, "I would kill everybody," and then I would go to the nursery, the, to the, to the, the, to the nursery school, and shock all the the teachers and the kids. Oh <laughs> no, you played that that song, "Ride for My Niggas." I will fight everybody in the club. Go across the street to the daycare center. <laughs> Knock out the staff and the kids. <laughs> the, the staff? The staff, they to too. Out the sauce. You smacking the applesauce out of their hands? Right. The Where was at the desk at the daycare center getting socked out first? Right Some out of the these songs oh. made you violent. Oh it was fantastic. Strictly for my niggas. I ride for my niggas. Fuck you, Listen, oh. this, it was a couple. So, first of all, let me say this. Let me, let me, let me, <laughs> let me do the intro real quick uh, okay. so we can get right back to this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of uh, Zooming with the Homies. Uh, Spice Adams had to take off. He will come back after he finish, uh, finishes with Avion Crockett. Hell, maybe both of them pop up. You never know. You just got to stay to the end. Uh, we got my, my my brother, my homeboy, Mr. Kev on stage here. We got Jackie Fabulous. We got Tony Baker. We got Mr. Slick Living, Cleo Thomas himself. Amazing show for you guys. I'm not going to hold up a lot of time. Um, the show is not behind a paywall. Uh, most of my guests are traveling comedians right now. We're not working right now. So if you guys would like to bless them with a little something, it would uh, greatly be appreciated. Uh, so at this time, I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and change your, your names to your cash app so they can go ahead and bless you with a little something. And we're just going to keep the show going right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood. Somebody said oh. when, when, when DMX was getting, at some point, they got like drunk deep. You know, the, I love you, I love you, or no, I love you. And somebody put in the comments, no, somebody put in the, the scroll. They were like, DMF got too many personalities to need friends. <laughs> the comments were so funny. He got 20 what? He, he got, got 20 too many person. personalities to need friends. Oh. <laughs> cold. They, That's they, cold, bro. They got so like, they got, you know, when you get to that level of drunk where you're like, man, I love you. Did you know I love oh, you? Oh, man. That level. <laughs> There's they pull you worse than being the sober person. On the receiving end of that, they don't realize how close. Hey man, how are you? I always feel like Ken. In my house, I I like you. My house, you become so good. You stay in my life, bro. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. I get it. No, no, no. You right. You right. Yeah. No, don't stop me. Listen. Okay. Listen, no, no, you are right. so, bro. You no, be hosting. I love you, man. Yeah. Okay. You, know, you okay. can't be like this all okay. night. Okay, okay. Save okay. my okay. life, okay. dog. Right. Right. Listen, no, listen, okay. man. Ain't no right. real right. niggas right. out there no more, right. man. You stay right. true right. to who you yeah. was. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Exactly. Okay. 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 Right. That's all right. Okay. You never doubted me for a second. My car, my ride's here. My ride's here. I gotta go. My ride's here. Without you, I would have died. You understand that? <laughs> okay. Family never turned their backs on me, man. I no, needed no, that. Okay. I would risk COVID for you, nigga. Okay, you cool. on tonight, man. Okay. Mm, you you smell no like no. a friend, okay. man. You, you, you gonna smell break. like loyalty, dog. We get it. We get it. <laughs> you love me, <laughs> bro. It is the worst ever. 
back. Yeah. There's nothing you can say with where they'll stop. No. Listen, when you be like, I got it. No, no, bro. You don't got it. You are oh. trying to stop me. You don't understand, <laughs> though, Cam. It's, 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 it's deeper than that, man. It's the drunk wobble that gets me oh, every time. Oh, man. It's, it's deeper than thing. that. When they, when they put their arm on you, it's all dead weight. Because that that part of their body think it is supported, so it just drops. So you got all of that weight. The closer yeah. you and then the thing you is when they stop talking, men think just being close. <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, my, it, my neck is hot. The, my, my neck, get, you're on my neck breathing. Please. Everybody was like, look at the love. So I'm like, niggas, enough of the love. Get back to the job. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I knew, oh, that I is when it deeper started. than that tone. Is deeper than that, bro. bro you don't understand, dog. Like <laughs> everybody turned their backs except you and your family, man. I, I was at my wits' end, bro. Oh, you oh smell my. like savior <laughs> shit, man. Listen. Oh god! And you know what's uh, funny? They probably ain't seen each other since 2010. Oh <laughs> my god! Facts, man. Facts. It was. It was it was it was it was amazing, man. It was amazing. That was a great battle, man. Listen, yeah. bro. I think it was so good. We were talking before you guys came, Jackie and Tone. Uh, Cleo was saying that it seems like this battle was sequenced out. Like the songs matched perfectly. It was produced. Listen, this one didn't feel like a you know three O Snoop three O DMX. This was just like, oh, I love this song. Oh, yeah. I love this song. Oh, mm -hmm. I love this song. Like. I, I love DMX and Snoop, but I ain't been like, oh, let me just put on DMX's album no, in a no, while. Never. I just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really listened to his catalog in a minute. So to be reminded of just how many songs he has was like, man, DMX really was hot for a minute. DMX, to me, DMX is strictly my elliptical treadmill stationary bike artist. If, if I listen to him, I could knock out three hours on the fucking treadmill. Because oh, he just, he make you forget. He is Jim. He, is Jim. he needs to change his name to Jim MX, dog. Because <laughs> you can you listen to him in the gym and get right. And Imagine you... DMX would have been an independent artist. How many trailers, how many movies use X gonna give it to you? Oh my God. How many? Bro. All the time. All the time. Nobody gives DMX all off of the that record. Time. And you know what's funny? You know what I love as a woman watching this? There was no political correctness. It was just bitches. Niggas ain't shit. Oh, uh, how do you do it? That was a, Kevin, as a black me, woman, how do you enjoy hip hop? They don't care about you at all. It made me feel whole, Kevin. I felt <laughs> it made me feel like the days when I didn't have all these fucking bills and worries. And I would go to a club. It made me remember going back, going to a club that was clearly a fire hazard because there were too many niggas in it. But those would be the best yep. nights of my life. The best well, nights of my life were in clubs where I will, I might get shot, but I'm not leaving. Listen, those were the this, most fun nights when your life was on the line. When there was an element of the danger. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. it's parties. Two things. That's two how you things. do it. When, when, uh, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> hey man, that's what's up, man. I, I. I love how you feel about the ladies. You play a little something for the ladies. Let me show y'all how I feel about them. <laughs> Bitches ain't shit, but holds a trick. He had his leg crossed. He had the longest leg. Snoop has the legs of a mermaid without the tail. They're the <laughs> longest legs, and they would cross. It is like, Bitches ain't shit, but holds the tricks. <laughs> My daughter was right there. I was like, oh, should I? You know what? Fuck it. She got to learn. Bro, gotta all learn. in, man. Well, there was one man. time, the song about uh, it ain't fun and my homies can't have none. There was a time where women, we were trying to boycott that song because <laughs> there was a time. But but you always get busted because you forget the line that's coming up and you end up singing with it. You're like, shit, I might as well. You always give in because the song <laughs> hits so hard. Can you, you give us the exact music. line? Can you give us the exact line, Miss I don't Harry? remember the line. I don't remember the line because I, I got all the songs in my head now. But Let me tell you something. This is how they got you with, with uh, um, It Ain't No Fun. Yeah. Nate comes on, right? When I met you last night, baby. Hey. It sounds like an uncle. It's inviting. It's a good hey, time. Open well, up your trap. Gap, 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 whatever. Trap I gap. Listen, he didn't even call you a bitch at first. He said, huh. I had respect for you, lady. Yep. Now I take it all back. Okay. He let uh -huh. you know why he 
going forth is going to call you a bitch. You got to respect that. You got to respect that. The women right. on the thread, when Angel Ray, whatever her name is, the light skinned lady from CNN, they had hardcore feminists watching this, putting fire signs up. That's in the what script. I'm saying. They were like, look, this song is offensive as fuck. Janelle <laughs> Monet was in there having the time of her life. And she'd be like, rap is misogynistic. But she was in this battle like bitches ain't shit. But with holes, holes and, tricks. and tricks with a blunt in her mouth in her living room. <laughs> with, while she's while she's typing up a Black Lives Matter flyer right. for work Damn. tomorrow. <laughs> Hip hop, yeah. that's the thing about hip hop. It's so good. You just are like, man, these lyrics. It's horrible. I, man. I just gotta, I, I gotta, Listen. I gotta put my feelings aside. <laughs> one of all of them. That that cor that corrupt verse was one of the first verses, uh, rap verses that I ever learned in my life. If you right? And I didn't realize it. I didn't realize man. how bad of a verse that was. It's crazy. It starts if you like give like, me ten bitches, then I'll fuck all ten. That's how no, it no, starts no, it all. When he said, uh, now if corrupt gave a fuck about a bitch, I'd always, I'd always be, broke. be broke. I never had no motherfucking endo to smoke. He was smoke. teaching a class. I did a TikTok <laughs> video about him like teaching in a <laughs> class of like <laughs> how to break there, there, there were probably so many kids in the house with their parents wondering, mommy, why you don't know all the words to all, all, of these all songs? the words? And mommy's like, mind your business. Bethany, go to bed. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> I tell you, you don't know the words. Kev. Oh, Kev like, don't know none no. of this. Why you, know? you didn't just let me be quiet in peace? I Listen, Kev don't, don't, don't know, know these words. words. Oh, I was about to Sorry. ask you. Sorry, Kevin. Tom, Sorry. I was, I was to trying to scoot him. back away from the, the thing. Like, I don't know. I you don't know. know. So I was just about to ask him how many songs did he actually know from the battle? Because <laughs> no, up on listen, John I knew this is the thing. You, you know, I don't never lie about my hip hop experience, right? right? DMX, um, DMX came out when I was in high school, so by that time I could buy my own music. Rough Riders Anthem, I had the I had the the compilation with right. everybody, a drag on yeah. Eve, like. We in, in Texas, Nick, the, the pits, the four wheelers, I listen yeah. to that. All Doggy that. Style, all that stuff, but you know, yeah. women. How women, many songs did you know, nigga? That's what we want to know. <laughs> if there was 40 songs on the battle, I probably knew six. 30, no, no. I knew like 33. You knew all knew DMX all. tracks and late Snoops. No, I knew <laughs> almost all Snoop songs. There was probably about three DMX songs that I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know the, 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 Women aren't tricks, but no. Uh, what, what, why you articulate? Shit, women ain't, women, ain't, women <laughs> ain't excrement, but garden tools and magic. <laughs> uh, I don't know the chorus the or the verse. I don't know. I don't know that. But those people were so popular. Everybody knew those. Everybody knew that. Yeah. That. Yeah, music. yeah that wasn't. I had the doggy style though. album. I had that. I was sneak. I had a, a a fake gospel cover over the CD. <laughs> And I will be listening to Doggy Style like he's able. And I was playing that shit in the car loud and clear for the neighborhood to hear with no shit. Oh shame. man, I had to, I had to, I had to sneak to listen to, to to that. But all my homies listen to it. DMX smoked in, crack before. You have no idea what you don't know about. <laughs> we were living in Germany, and I, my, my mom and pops had the Doggy Style album, and I'll never forget opening it up for the first time and pulling out the. Uh, the album book, the album yeah. artwork, artwork book. Yeah. And I'm looking at it and I'm just like, yo, these dogs got fat asses. Yo, I <laughs> thought I was the only pervert. <laughs> I thought I was the only pervert. Oh, no, like, me too. Bro, she had on the little pink negligee. Yes. I was like, this fucking dog with my picture uh, thick as hell. <laughs> it was ready. Here was like doggy style indeed. <laughs> <laughs> they was uh -huh. I'm with you. Here's you me, if I'm ready to be a father. Then a year later, I was a father. Oh, oh take, that you know. take that cold sip to his. There was a guy standing Y'all moms was really listening to hip hop? That's crazy. Who, what? Y'all parents was listening uh, to There was no way I could play doggy style with my mom on the scene. No, if oh. I played hip hop, I, I played my dance mom's head music around. Exploded. When I was at home, I played dance, you know, you know uh, heavy D, fun stuff. But when it was time to listen to the real shit, you can't. Jackie, in the street. Let me let me tell you, Jackie. One time I got in trouble for playing just the two of us. Will Smith. I was playing that for my dad, asking for permission to listen to that, 
And he was like, nah, that's that ain't that's 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 the devil music. I was like, just it's it's about his son. He was like, if it ain't gospel, it's the devil. Who raised you? The Winans? Where the hell you come from? <laughs> What kind of background? What kind of background? We couldn't even listen to Anita Baker, and I don't want to get into this with Tony here. The Anita (laughs) Baker song with the Winans, they skipped it in my house because she was secular. Come to find out, my mom was listening to Anita Baker in her car. She was, so my mom and grandma, we all live in the same house. So my mom was basically Tony with hip hop. Her mom would not allow her to listen to Anita Baker, so she drove around listening to it. Is but that, never played it in the house. Is that why, first of all, you and your wife are, are a couple goals. But is that why you got married so young? Because you you had, they didn't give you no space to get your hole on before you fell in love? You're no, I, I, had a, I had a summer of 99 where I, I walked away from God. And um, <laughs> One summer? <laughs> one summer. Cash like money records were taken like over it, and so was I. <laughs> I that, man can, that man Kev is in that video somewhere, bro. We got to go back and do the research. <laughs> So what you so what you what you feel up the choir director and you feel like oh my god I'm being I'm this is not the Lord's way. I had three I had three sexes with uh different women. I had three three like very to a nine year old. What the what oh, you did, you did? You Oh yeah, Tony Bank. I thought three. it was just Melissa. That was it. Three. I had three other women. Yeah, he was exactly. throwing his Christian oats. That's how you stole your Christian oats. Three, three girls. Three three separate girls. Melissa made number four, and now I stopped before I got to five. Five was hell. I couldn't. I, I couldn't have five on it like the loonies. I, I had to stop. I couldn't even reach Man. a whole hand. Why, if I came to your house and sat on your couch, that shit would burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a barrier, an invisible barrier that that prevents you from actually walking in the house. <laughs> like uh, true blood to here. Oh, yeah, yes. Is that part? You gotta come invite in. Jackie in. Are you gonna yeah, invite yeah. him? Invisible so, yeah. field. Cleo. If that's the case, I wouldn't make it on the block, bro. I wouldn't get close to that, man. Stop. Cleo, listen, Cleo, Cleo was on the street. Hold on, hold on, Cleo, hold on, hold on one second. Cleo, this is this was what you missed in, in, in 1999. Who's that? Oh, my God, see here. Stop Who's playing that? that stupid video. Is that him? That's, that's, that's Cash Money taking over for the 9-9. Who's that? <laughs> That was when we were on tour. You can't hear it, so it's not as funny as to hear one of it to be. I know. I, I'm muting it so I don't get flagged. That's, I'm assuming, but I heard a bump. So is that is, is uh, the music that's going to it? Drop, uh, so what <laughs> happened, Cleo, I was answer. on tour, and my back was tight, so I was trying to stretch it out, and Doughboy was helping me, and to hear it turned it into a music video. It's actually y'all, quite hilarious. Y'all ain't, no, y'all ain't, got, y'all ain't really friends. It's just, no, cold here. You cold, brother. Come oh, on. He is a cool savage, man. <laughs> he is treachery, McGee. Dog. You did it, it's you just did it right, crazy. though, Kevin. So many, like the older generation didn't grow up on like, explicit music like that. Like me growing up, Snoop Dogg, DMX, Tupac, Notorious B.I.G., Sugar Free. But like y'all, like don't act like Al That's Green not- and then went talking about clapping sheets. Al- Al- Yo, we are not that old. Al, Al Green, like the whole converse- congregation. Clapping sheets. <laughs> Yo, how you're thirty? How old do you think we are? Al uh, Green. How old are you, T? No. How old are you, T? And how old are you, Kev? I'm thirty-seven, Cleo. <laughs> like, Tony, me and Tony are fifty-four. Well, don't throw me in there with you. <laughs> oh, you leave me? I thought we were gonna be together on this. Wow, man, I'm 43 <laughs> and robust. I'm 61. Cleo, Cleo said oh, Al, right. Green. Not 61, Al Green. Al Green, right. Cleo. Not even close. Cleo, Al Green. At one point, his dick was in the collection plate, passing that around the church. <laughs> Yo, once, once Al Green had the, the the women troubles with the hot grits and the suicide, he changed his life to God. He was like, right. Oh, right. Right. Was, the was the hot back? grits real? Yeah. 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 Oh, Al Green. Al Al Green. Green. So that was story. just like here's. I thought that it was like folklore. It was hot grits and a suicide. Wait a second. Al Green was like, like, he went to church that night. He was like, and never came back out the church. I thought that was just like a thing they said in movies in Medea thing. I didn't know Al Green. I thought they just said that. I didn't know it was really happened to him. He put a shirt on on his album cover after that. <laughs> What's like, the suicide? What happened with the suicide? The, 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 the woman he was dealing with, one of the women, she uh, committed suicide. What? Uh, he was just like, you know what? Praise God. <laughs> Literally. I'm out. I'm out. 
I'm out. Yeah, that man. man said, you know what? Praise God. Praise God. I'm out. A lot out of these, really. a lot of these R and B cats, or whatever, they were hoeing, and then they became part of the, the life of the Lord. Oh yeah, you go, you go to God when your R and B when you don't sell no more. It's like, well, anyway, Teddy back to the was in mid hoeing when he had the car accident. Who? Who? Teddy. Teddy oh, yeah. Teddy was, they say he was getting head when he had the car accident. He was in mid hold'em. When he got in the car accident, they paralyzed. I keep telling everybody that that blowjob thing while you're driving is dangerous. I keep no everybody stop doing that with your wife, girlfriend. I don't care who. But it's, it's a good safe. time though. Jay. It's 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 knowing that you might be beheaded literally while you're getting head or giving it. <laughs> it's a wonderful. Experience. But what about you? You can I can multitask. Yeah. I, it's not, no, it's not. It's not the ability. I'm worried as the person giving the blowjob. I'm worried that. How do you know that his orgasm won't let him drive you off a bridge? You don't know what'll happen. You well, don't you know. know. Cause, cause he ain't trying to die either. He want to feel it again. You so he ain't gonna know. just, he, he gonna hold it off. You don't he know. Hold you back don't. a little bit. Everybody here who orgasms nice and nice and uh, organized and politely, that's wonderful. But you don't know if you might just one day but be you, like driving like You can like be off. giving head to somebody you don't know that well. In that the has, car anyway. Tony, your body is not as predictable. You don't know all the time how you're going to react. I, I'm I do. My orgasm. No, you know, you, you might, you, every time you come, it's a different experience. You don't know what might happen. But one I know day. what I oh, do. Daddy, hold on. I think the climax and the orgasm into a woman may be completely different from climax that's and orgasm. That's exactly what it is. That's, man. that's exactly you what it is. Every time you climax, your body has the exact same reaction. Yes. Every I know time. exactly when it's about guys, to be yes. and exactly I, how I'm going to end it. I've never had a every magical time. nut. I never had a nut that was like. You know the nut is in control. You know that nuts are involuntary, right? You don't. I've never had that. Women have all different type of orgasms with different type of men in different occasions, but men is. (laughs) That's it across the board. Every guy comes like that. And do you know how long it takes every time? You do you take the same amount of time with pumps? Before you finish, you, do you Pick know you that pump, every time? Pump. Pump. I, 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 I haven't kept count of that. See, that's that what I'm know. saying. This is not science. But I'm just science. saying, you don't know. The, the end results for guys are the same. No guy has ever had it like that and and, and had to close his you know, eyes and go in the fetal position and pull the right. covers over you him. Don't, you don't understand what I'm saying. You, you don't you, understand what you're saying. If you're, if, <laughs> you're not going to leave. Ain't no if man going to get left in a puddle, Miss Jackie. It's if not going to happen. A, okay, first of all, you're going to stop calling me Miss Jackie. I'm not 60, all right? What a okay. Cleo. You just said <laughs> you were 63, you were Jackie, 60. so don't I, do that. I'm joking. He believes me? I have wonderful skin. I am not anywhere close to 60. Okay? I didn't believe it even in the slightest. Have you seen Thank Jada Pinkett's mom? She got wonderful skin. She every Jada bit of Pinkett's mom is amazing. She will get taken down. They got you some Botox, though, I heard. I don't care. I everybody get Botox when well, you got that kind of money, but you still have, you can't fight, you know, gravity the whole time. I will take her down and then let her put me to bed. Tuck me in. <laughs> put, do this underneath me while the covers get to I will do all of that. Absolutely. My only point is, if you are in a different environment and you're sexually heightened because it's extra dangerous, different, you're trying new things, your body might have an extra reaction. You just don't know. Uh-huh. Tony, stop shaking your head. That, I mean, that's I, I, I've been there. I can drive and, and, and nut. All right. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm talking to men. Everybody was watching. I apologize. I forgot that I'm arguing with dudes. If because I you can't, that, you can't speak for our orgasm. I, 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 I can't because it's unpredictable every time. Exactly. No, predictable. No, made my point. I want to. I want to circle back to the music and how our parents were like, you can't listen to that filth and all of that, and that music is just all nasty, and they talk about all this. There's a guy named Theotis Ely, okay? Theotis Ely, he has a song called Let Me Put the Head In. What? That sounds familiar. Let, let Me Put the Head In. It's a blues song. That's 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 that right there. Also, Wait, is that older or newer? That's, that's 2005. Older. That's older, but it, it came out earlier than that. <laughs> it came out earlier than, he made a compilation album too. There's uh, Evelyn King, Evelyn Champagne King, Love Come Down. What do you Love think she's talking about no, on Love so Come true. Down? What is she talking about? That is an what innocent roller skating song. You that's make my innocent. love come down. No. Who do you make my love come down? She's not talking about that. Kev, yes, she, she, yes, she is. Stop. 
this She's is not the thing. talking about coming You're down. You're ruining a song from my past. That song is innocent. You go roller skate into that song. Nobody's bowing into that roller song. Roller skate right into some vagina. <laughs> You the mean, thing about those happened. times is that they used to be more clever with the with the innuendo. Yeah, love come down is not. Let me put the head in. Those are that's one is direct, one's play action. We we go straight halfback dive. Back in the day, they had play action. They had in the round. They had <laughs> counters. They had a different way to get to it. Nowadays, just I ah, beat it, beat it up, uh, 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 uh. I like that. Listen, I'll beat it, beat it up. Like man, I, guess, I like talk that. To it? Did you, you listen to this? Listen to Grace Jones. Oh, that just come in. Hey, 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 I agree, but I also understand that, like, as time change, everything gets faster. Like, you get mad now if your fast food takes too long, right? You get you get mad if you have to wait for things to download that, are t- that take too long or upload too long. They just get straight to the point. They get straight to... <laughs> Put it up. Come on. Take those panties off. Take them off. <laughs> Listen. I'm going to read, I'm a read some titles to some songs from the 70s, and you'll see it's not that different. Tyrone Davis, In the Mood. Um, Footsteps in the Darkness by the Ozzy Brothers. Touch Me by the Ozzy Brothers. Um, what else we got? Uh, Rock Me Tonight, Freddie Jackson. All of them are talking about the same thing. Rock Me Tonight, that's, okay, first of all, I have had sex many times to Rock Me Tonight, and that is romantic. And I don't mean flings. I mean, that is, I, I love you sex. Marvin Gaye, Let's Get It On. Well, that's also, that's, I love, well. That's still in your window. It's not, all I'm saying is not straight to the point. They listen, get to the point, they don't go straight here, to the point. If you listen, listen to in Grace, the 70s, they, in the Great 70s, job. Jackie and, and Kevin, they were saying, hey, mama, let's get it on. That's what that's how they said, let's have sex, is let's get it on. Grace Jones got a song called Pull Up To My Bumper, Baby, Drive It In Between. That's clear. Who, who is that? Grace Jones. I wish so. Oh, that's Noel Jones' bumper, sister. Baby. Say it again, Jackie. Drive it, pull up to my bumper, baby, drive it in between. That's very clear. <laughs> Jackie, why pull up to them thing? cakes. But it's not in the window, though. Here's the window. You should be talking about a car. Maybe she worked at Enterprise. Uh, Maybe shut she up, Kevin. Kind of direct him you to, to all the, the mood of, the, of those type of songs, though. Was it? Do you think it was men who shifted it or women? Did women get tired of the, the, the sweet talking? Like, hey, bro, I ain't got time for all that. Pull up and clap these cheeks. Probably as, well, time, cheeks, for, as time passed, women in our whole liberation feminist movement, we're more like, we don't always need... The long courtship. Sometimes you just not a, you come over, bend me over, and get in the car and leave. Not every woman, but you know, as time passes, we oh. we wanted to be less submissive and be more aggressive. That's You're right, because Keon pointed out uh, this isn't about sex, but everybody got mad about uh, SZA's The Weeknd song. Like, oh, how are you gonna be a side chick, side chick? Keon pointed out one of Whitney Houston's songs. Um, and Whitney was like, ah. well, Whitney had low self-esteem, clearly. <laughs> wait, wait, what song was the the song? Saving that, all my love for you. Saving, saving all my, all love, my love, love for you. Wait, that is the 1980s version of The Weeknd. It is the same idea as SZA. SZA just was more straight to the point. Yeah. Whitney was more, she went around about it. She was saying the same thing. Let me give you an example. And the only person who might know, but Tony, all of y'all like music, the SOS band. Listen to any song that 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 group should be called low self esteem hits. <laughs> that song, the woman, the lead, every song is about I know you got a lot of bitches, but I just want to be. Every song is about I know that I am not good enough, but when you're ready, I will be here. Listen to it. Look at the titles. Every song Listen is low self esteem. These lyrics, Jackie Whitney Houston. A few well, Whitney, stolen moments is all that we share. Yeah, you got was, your that family. Was the, that was the least of Whitney's problems. And they need you there. <laughs> Though I've tried to resist being last on your list, but Whitney, no other man's gonna do. Whitney was smoking crack. I don't think she had many standards. No, not she was not. Crack then, Jackie. Not she then. wasn't. She's been a drug addict her whole adult Jackie, life. Jackie, she sure. explicitly Jackie. said, "Crack." Is cheap. Okay, not crack. I'm sorry. Cocaine, heroin, PCP, acid, 
My bad. Not crack. And also, Whitney wasn't writing those songs, so maybe the person who was doing it was cheating. But all I'm saying is... No, you're right. Your, your point is valid. I'm just saying yeah. Whitney had a lot of problems. I'm just saying don't get mad at SZA. She's just writing the same song. And uh, Barbara, this is Shirley. I'm coming to you woman to woman. Say woman like to this. woman. Woman to woman. Five pieces got stories to tell as well. Yeah. Uh, yes. Even Hamilton and Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton was cheating on his wife 17 oh, on it. My whole, my whole here. episode on my podcast the other, the other day was about me and those girls that were on the panel with me talking about how we've all been a side chick. Okay. It's a, it's a part Jackie, of the right you? Yes. Guys have been side guys too. Guys have been yeah. side guys. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I lost my virginity on the side. I was the side. <laughs> That Kevin. was my debut. Who was the fried? <laughs> I, was fried, fried I was fried <laughs> McGee. That was my debut into the game. I was like, oh, no. watch your first play. I in came NFL. in as dressing. I was potato this, salad. It was large fries. That's, that's, that's what it was That's what it was in that little black book ass. Large let me fry. get the, uh, let me get the steak off the well bed. with a side of Tony Baker. Me? I, I'm in the game. Yeah. I was Tony, lunch puppies. I was fries. I was mashed were, potatoes. You were cilantro. Was you were the you were the garnish. <laughs> I was tater, I was a little bit more than a garnish. I was tater tots. Okay, oh, you're right. Tater wrong. tots. We don't have them often, but when we do have them, we're like, I need to have more tater tots. Tony, mm. why do you Tony, why do you why do you own it so well? I was side piece McGee. You hear me? You, you gotta, gotta own it, man. Life, you gotta own it. Yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. I listen, I, I don't know if I was ever the side boyfriend. I don't know how seriously we took our high school dating, but one of the girls I was in love with, she broke up with me because this other dude, <laughs> she wrote me a letter and said, listen, Kev, I'm breaking up with you and I'm going out with this guy because he dances like genuine. And I was like, you uh, genuine, I'll never forgive you for this Elgin or Eldrick, whatever. Elgin, Elgin, Elgin Lumpkin. Elgin Lumpkin. Lumpkin. Listen, can we talk about how it's a good thing that people can have stage names because some of these entertainers, uh, Earl Simmons, here. Earl Simmons, El Elgin yeah. Lumpkin, listen, DMX would have been a star with Earl Simmons with that yeah. rap. You're not gonna be no R&B superstar like, ladies and gentlemen, get up for Elgin Lumpkin. No, uh, Elgin no. Lumpkin just Yo, don't work. It. What did you say, Elgin Lumpkin? Cal yes. Calvin Brockus, I, I don't no, even know Brody. how to say it. Brody. 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 That's still, it's a, it's a that, what? Now, Brody sounds like it's, Brody sounds Brody's a little got hard. a little grit to it. Brody's oh. got a little grit. Cliff Especially Cliff when you see it spelled out, it's gritty looking. Clifford Harris. Now, yeah. Clifford, is a, Clifford is a little, Give me yeah. some more names here. Give us some more names. But Clifford's a tough sell. Method Man is also a Clifford. Oh, you're giving is a real name. Is. I'm like, who y'all talking about? I didn't know and met the man. I feel like Queen Latifah would have had the same career. Her name was just Dana. I'd buy Dana. She was just like, hey, guys, I'm Dana. I'd be like, OK. Dana. You and I, T.Y. I'm with it. <laughs> Kevin, a, know about, Kevin, do you know all about Dana for real? I feel like you know something I don't know. I feel like you don't know at all. Next topic. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what do you mean? What I just miss? You know about Queen know what Latifah? Happened. What happened with Queen? Jackie's Lucy? eating the most delicious chips on God's green earth. She no, eats no, no. them visually. These are Weight Watchers chips. Oh, no. Jackie. No. You're, you don't have to do that. Oh, Kevin, you're a sweetheart, but I wait You gotta love minutes. ourselves. I wait, I wait Jackie trying minutes. to get snacks so she can get some new peen. peen? Kevin, you, you know what's funny? Kevin's like, if you were a side chick, you, you, should, you should be ashamed. If you were on a diet, you should love yourself. Kevin, I, I'm in love with myself. This is all part of life. Yeah, it's true. This is all life. And like being a side a side piece is not to be ashamed. Staying one is when you're like, all right, I ain't got no. Oh, did y'all know? When did you find out your 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 role in the relationship? I didn't find out. I had a the only time I was a side chick, long term voluntarily was when I got a, I had I'm, I'm one of my last corporate jobs, and one of the guys who were whose job it was to help you get situated with the company, I met him. He had on a ring. And I, I still went for it. it, it oh, was, you, it was, I, you went willing. You went, you went boastfully into as, the night. You I didn't have vanish a, without a fight. I have, like, a, I have a saying, Kevin, that I'm a good person. I'm not always a good girl. Uh, <laughs> and that, I and need that, more women in the world to embrace that statement. And that's, I, not, who Jackie, am, that that's not who I am. That's not who I am. 
That should have been a t-shirt 10 years ago. I know. Everybody but... hears that and they're like, oh my God. If anybody, if I see it on anybody's chest, I'll set your house on fire. I swear to God. <laughs> to me. Drop it but, tonight. Hold on. Wait, wait. That I'm was give my a... past. I know karma is, is, karma's a bitch. I would never be, I'm not that girl anymore. But back then, I'm like, I, 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 I hated my job. So why not? Fuck who works it. Hold on, you were like, I hate this job. Whose husband is available? <laughs> I mean, here. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a way to describe it, but job. that's that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Damn. I I want to give you guys some more names and want to see if you guys can guess who it is. Go for okay. it. William Leonard Roberts II. Oh, you Who's know that? what I think? That's Rick Ross, that. ain't it? That's Ross. Ross. William okay. William Leonard Roberts does not have the same ring as Ross. You can't be yeah. like William. It just it's too Robert. many syllables. It's too many syllables. Roberts is just too much. Okay, here's, here's another one. Trevor Taheem Smith Jr. Oh, uh, Trevor? Trevor Smith. I know who that is. Trevor uh, Smith. Is. Trevor Smith. Trevor Taheem Smith Jr. Taheem. <laughs> No, uh, that's that's not that's not. Give me a hint. Oh no, okay. T Pain's the... name is Fahim. I believe. Uh, put your eyes. I mean, put your hands on my oh, eyes. Bust, see. Buster Rhymes. That's Buster's what it was. His name is Trevor. What? Trevor. His name is Trevor. Yeah, I knew that. What? Melissa Arnett. I don't know. What what Missy Elliott. Wait, what'd you Missy, say? Melissa Arnett. Oh, okay. Melissa, Missy Elliott's last name's not Elliott. Arnett. I knew her name was Melissa. I didn't know it was. I didn't know her. That was her last name. Tahid Epps. Mike Epps? No. Why would that no, be? No, that's uh Tahid Epps. Tahid. I don't know. No, who, that's, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that. Who's that to hear? Titty Boy. They hey, listen, so is two chains. He had to change his name from Titty Boy to Two Chains. There was only so far you can go with Titty Boy. Boy. Nice. Figured it out. Hey, how are you for and the it's, it's literally to the end of the block. <laughs> uh, okay, this this is a crazy one. I don't even know if I'm gonna pronounce this one already. Aquil Jean Pollard. Pollard. Aquil is. That's not Lil Uzi, is it? No. How the hell do y'all know this shit? What the, what y'all doing with y'all lives? Give, you, give me a hint. Aquil Jean Pollard. I know this person. I know this rapper. I can't think of who his name. Aquil sounds familiar. Is this from the South? Ah, Bobby Schmurter. I knew it. Oh, I wouldn't have got that. For I sure. knew Aquil. I would bad. say. I'm looking at the comments, Tony. You, you, you would definitely. You're, you're garlic mashed potatoes. I'll give you that. Garlic mashed potatoes. That's a good. Garlic side. mash. That's delicious. That's we side, love. Man. We all love what garlic mash. What would Tony have to do to get to the level of lobster bisque mashed potato? <laughs> he would. He would have to. Well, that depends on what you want. If you know your side and you're okay with it, you don't want it to change unless you start to catch feelings, and then they. The lover you're with is like, I'm gonna leave my family. Then you're like, hey, hey, wait a minute. That's not what I signed up for. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no, don't do that. Stay with her. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm like, I, I, I'm like, your marriage, you need to work on your marriage. I, I, I don't want to hear. Take you this, all right, I want to do this last one, then we can keep it moving. All right. Um, Navidius Demond. Oh, everybody Wilbur. knows that. That Nas? Hey, Vadius, it's future. Nevadius. Nevadius 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 Demon Wilburn. Nate Nevadius. Wow. Hendrix. The parents, man. Future Hendrix. Why are y'all doing this? <laughs> Love it. He goes down in history. Look at that. I, day, was it, isn't LL's name Todd? Todd Smith. James Todd, Todd Smith. Smith. Yeah, Todd Smith. Oh, it's James Todd first. Smith. James, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. James is a better start off than Todd. Todd. Yeah, MC Hammer's first name is Stanley. Stanley, Stanley, is Stanley Kirk Burl. When you when you look at uh, MC Hammer though, beyond the flash, he looked like a Stanley. It looked like he worked. It looked like he worked sixty hours a week down at the steel mill. <laughs> he got that big name, Stanley name. energy. He do, man. No, that name is like a good dude. Nicely. Now stay off my grass. Oh. <laughs> Stanley. I would, if, 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 like Tony said, if you crossed MC Hammer Marshall, at just like a Jesse, a JC Penney's, he was like, "Hey, I'm the manager. I'm Stanley." You would have completely believed that. You if you just said one of the name the most creative names in hip hop. Who? Eminem. The, oh, the Marshall Mathers. The way he took his initials and made a word out of it based on the Eminem is dope. Yeah. 
Man, yeah. I loved when Eminem came out. I was like, ah, yes. Hi, yeah. kids. Do you like violence? Would you like Yo. to see the Nine Inch Elves? That was a dope track. Uh -huh. Yo. Uh -huh. I this, recorded this, that on a VCR. I hated his first album. I oh, Jackie Fab! Like Jackie was already 38 when the first album came okay, out. First okay. of all, I will have the internet cut off. I was not that old. <laughs> I loved Eminem because I, I like that. He, see, Vanilla Ice was trying to be black. And I was like, no, oh, come on, man. Even though Vanilla, I like the song. Vanilla was corny, but when you hear that oh, beat ice, drop, ice, baby. When that beat starts, you're like, look, this is trash, but don't turn Yo, it off. Yo, Vanilla the Ice thing, was rapping his ass off on Ice Ice. Tony, the funniest thing he ever did in his life is when he tried to argue that that beat oh wasn't God. from Under Pressure. He was like, no, there's his dun 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 dun. Mine is dun 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 dun. He like, literally <laughs> did that. He was like, my <laughs> You hear the difference? You hear the difference? We were like, oh. 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 where is this? Oh. What did this happen? You know what I know? It was like on VH1, Cleo. Oh and the I thing I, I understand, like, people in hip hop, we didn't care about samples. Hip hop was samples. So it wasn't even like people were tripping. It was just like, why are you even arguing this point that is very obviously, it is very obviously under pressure, just rap. You know what I, I, I still don't hear? The the Robin Robin Thick lawsuit. Robin Day? Been, yeah, I don't I still don't hear it. And they you know how they try and say that he stole yeah. it. Yeah. I don't oh, you hear, can it. hear it for sure. I, I was surprised I, they I won because hard, it wasn't, I don't hear it at all. I hear it for sure. I it wasn't exact, but it was definitely inspired by, influenced by. Oh God. I'm like I'm listening hard. Like I don't get it. I don't get it. Listen, the funniest thing Robin Thicke ever did is think we were going to help him get Paula Patton back with that album. <laughs> People were like, bro, oh, shut up. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> like, hey, hey, their back back on him. It was niggas like, I've been waiting for her to leave your dog ass. I was like, <laughs> I said, I ain't going to help you get me. going to name the album as an old goof ass nigga. Hey, look at this goof ass boy, dog. The album was trash, Dog's my boy. Here. That was a divorce, and we were like, thank you, man. Hey, hey, man. Like, we we, we really cared thing. about him. Nobody he cared. cared. He came along about his father. We're like, your father died. That hurts, right. but not you. I feel like they both kind of fell off after that album. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Paula Patton and Mission Impossible, amazing. She didn't Paula even come Patton. back. She's a good actor. Pa pa Paula Patton and, uh, what's it, Baggage Claim? The movie was she uh. <laughs> She had that Denzel movie. Was it Deja Vu? She was with Denzel? That was before all of that. That was before uh, Mission Impossible. And, uh, it was Deja Vu, yep. So what was her height? Was it the Deja Vu or was it Mission Impossible? Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. That was a good look. She came yeah. out with Mission Impossible. Was she ever really on, though, though, to hear? You said she fell off. Was, was Paula Patton ever on all the way? Well, she was She was getting good roles. And yeah, then she was, now I feel like I don't movie. see her. I watched her in that, like, traffic movie with, uh, I think Omar Epps was in it. And I've seen her do. She's done. She's been an ADA on Law and Order. She she played a lawyer on that. Mm -hmm. And then she she's a good act. She can act, but right. you don't know what people's you know background is. Why she can't work all the time? Yeah, she fine as all get out though. Yeah, but then yeah. You know, everybody mix can't take over all the spots. These mix <laughs> mix mix black women work like a motherfucker. They all can't take all this. But let somebody pure brown get get a job. Goddamn it, everything. Yo, Jackie, you. The funny thing is, you were on America's Got Talent, which is so clean, and your personality is just so. Still. I'm, okay. Jackie is okay. still. First of all, I'm Jackie a is heroin. She's a heroin needle laying on the spoon. That is uh, Jackie. Tony, oh. your fans, your fans are suicidal when they hear you cuss. So you watch your. Well, they, they'll be all right. They'll be all right. Tony's Tony's reminder that he know. cusses every once in a while is. Pure hilarity. Every he now uses, and then, he has a press conference. Man, look, guys, they get too I comfortable. Cuss. They get too comfortable. I'll be like, "Fuck, piss, dick, <laughs> pussy, lips. Fuck this shit." You know, lips. Ass you don't even like bitch. that word, Tony. I don't, but I just you you got you know it. It's funny? like when Tony no. Soprano got out of the hospital and he just socked out that dude just to let the crew know. Who he was. I'm he still in the shit. Y'all remember yeah, that? That's like when Marlo left the business, business meeting and just socked somebody and shot at him. He was like, ah, I'm alive. Yeah, you got to do it then, sometimes. Oh, no, wait, wait, Cleo. Go ahead. Cleo, what you got? I got, I got to ask because the post went up with Tony saying that he doesn't like that word. And then Kev joined in. I never liked that word neither. 
It's not holy. I'm saying, wait, 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 wait. What other words can you actually call it? Vulva. No, that's not oh. the vagina. That sounds like a, a broth of some sort. I got the vulva and the crackers over and there. Hey, girl, let me see I'd that vulva. I'd rather you say hey, girl, let me see or that Nani or something silly, but don't say vulva. That's ridiculous. That's a scientific vulva term. Vulva sounds like you mispronounce it vulva. I heard Kevin say the word coochie to his wife in one of his yoga videos. I say coochie. Coochie my word. Yeah, coochie. Coochie's and my favorite. Every now and then when I see Tony say the word right. nigga in a post, I, I, literally, I get worried. I literally be like, if I see him write the word N I G G A, my first thought was, ooh, that they're not gonna like that. That's because Tony, Tony, the animal videos, they be having people confused. They be thinking Thank you don't, you don't know tone like that. So he gotta be like, let me, let me take the videos off. Ain't no, ain't no cram, ain't no Rudy, ain't really? no look at who you came to see. I'm exactly. black. Black Lives Matter. I hate you. I hate MAGA. Shut up. I cuss. All right. Back just, to the videos. For, hey, for America's Got Talent, Kevin, I just. I did all the material I always do all the time. I just took out all the, the gratuitous f bombs and sex. Ah, and, got and it. you have to be clean to be on NBC. I did. I all the material are jokes that have been around my whole career. You just take out the cuss words. That's mm -hmm. it. That's, that means you're a pro because some people can't do that. They take out the cuss words and they, it is no longer funny because the cuss words is the punchline. There are a lot mm. of pros that are just that are amazing and gifted, and then they're just lazy. They just they don't want to bother. They're like, look, my whole career has been like this. I no, just said that definitely. in my video. You know, people think that being funny is the most important, and I'm telling you, it's not. You gotta no. be able to get booked by everybody. It's you gotta. There's so being. There's a lot of funny people. There are so many funny people. So many comedians yeah. that are funnier than me, mm -hmm. but not a lot will work hard every time. Not a lot will never miss a flight. Not a lot will promote. Like there's so much more that goes into even like. The club owners coming, just coming on time and 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 cleaning up stuff like that. Like the club owners, that comedy club community, it is small. Your reputation precedes you. Me and Tahir were on the road this this year, prior the little dates we did. <laughs> people would hear, hey man, we've heard you have really nice audiences. They don't drink that much, but they're nice. And the club yeah. owners are like, we'll take it. Like usually you have pack, they drink a lot, you're happy with the bar, but the, the wait staff has to go through a lot. Your audience doesn't drink that much, but yeah. they're not. So we're and you sell a lot of tickets, and that stuff is is just as important as being funny. Yeah. You know what they happens? Might not, they might not drink all the alcohol, but they still gonna order some food, and they gonna get yeah. two juices. They gonna get two juices and some ginger ale. Oh, we <laughs> listen at my shows. Them tables are full of appetizers, nacho wings. Are so here ate wings at ninety eight percent of our shows from the audience. Oh uh, yeah, I just go on people's plate. People just be coming because you have to order something. They don't be finishing it. To hear be like, mm, I had a chance to eat. Right. Nobody unfinished plates in the front. I'll be looking too. I'll be like, I'll be all in people's plates, man. I'll be all in people's plates, man. I'll be all in all Listen, bro, I'm, I'm talking about I bite the wing and then go into the joke, wait for them to laugh. I do the setup, suck the meat off the bone, put it in the plate, grab another one, another. do the punch line. Let them laugh, finish that one, dip it in the ranch. I'm disrespectful yeah. with it. Are you going to do that post COVID? No. No. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. Listen, you know I ain't going to hold y'all. That's going raw after you already called something from me. Don't do that. <laughs> why would you? Why would you? Are you stupid? <laughs> you know, a good example I, I went, I did one club day with a fellow comic, and the club owner, it was a club that I do every year, and I brought the comic to do the club. And the club owner was upset that the comic that I brought didn't come to the back office to say hello. Like little things. Really? Like, yeah. He was like, what's up with your boy? I'm like, I don't know. He wouldn't go con converse, mm -hmm. not, well, converse with the club owner. And he kind of put it on me like, well, you brought somebody that ain't got no manners. Like it's so mm -hmm. many things. And this comic is gifted. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, no. I think I've done that just you know, because I'm just, I'm just talking about per being personable. Like you're how you are out off the stage sometimes matters more than what happens up there. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be oh, more than no, Jackie. Every time, always at play. every time matters more than what happens yeah. on stage. Yeah, yeah. Because there's another comic that can come do a weekend. People don't. Ha it's exactly. just like in in you know Cleo in the actor business and you know Hollywood regular Hollywood. There's another actor that can fill that role. If people don't want to deal with you, they'll be like, oh, he's good, she's good, but oh, it's just a headache on set. Do they like uh, you? That reputation Being liked is way more, 
I've been in the room, you know, especially at all death, <clears throat> been in the room where people are just like, oh, no. like, oh, what about this person? They're like, oh no, they're just a jerk on set. Oh yeah. Right. They this, they did that. And then people are like, the people who don't know are just, they don't even argue. They're like, oh, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, who else? Like just that quick. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's a, a matter of before AGT and I had, I was booking myself, I didn't have an agent. Sometimes my ability to just text the club owner and be like, hey, can I come do a weekend? And then be like, sure, you have these days open. Like to be listen, able to do that you, matters. You, listen, <laughs> if your agent, so like when your agent books you, right? Mm -hmm. But then you now know the club owner personally. Yeah. Now, whether you have the agent or not, you have your own relationship, All whether you have time. the agent or not. And if that's I, if, way, cause bro, like when you think about it, it's what? Maybe five franchises make up like 85% of all the comedy clubs in yeah. America. Funny Bone, um, Improv, factory. Improv, The Factory, the the Helium, they have different names, but it's all kind of the same thing. <clears throat> and then like Rick Bronson, if you only have those five, you can work for the rest of your life. Yeah, if I find <laughs> that I'm, I'm home too often or I feel bored or my calendar is making me feel anxiety, I'll text, you know, Sean who owns Hilarities in Ohio and be like, hey, can I come down there? And he'll be like, sure. And then, and then I'll tell my agent, okay, now hit him up and y'all figure out the money. But yeah, to, right. be able, to be able to just text someone, they're human beings. And, you know, comedy act beings. like these club, club owners are some special spirits. I'm like, no, they're no. just, that's just Todd. <laughs> they're just people and they they're don't want to, they, they want to deal with a nice person for, yeah. And even like, man, when me and Tahir and Tone, Tone too, me and Tone, we, we did, when all three of us were together, we did more than comedy clubs. Mm -hmm. But me and Tahir, like that person that waits on you all weekend, ma make sure they're good. You gotta, you gotta mm -hmm. grease them before yeah, you I, leave. You I gotta grease them on, to on the first so night. You gotta let them know what's up. You gotta hit them yeah. with the good tip on the first night. But no, let no, this is, this is what you tell them. You can tell them, hey, are you gonna be with me all weekend? All weekend, I do that every and time. And if you are, then I, I'm gonna I'm tip you all nice. Uh, the, on Sunday, or I, I could do it every night. It's up to you. But I've been with so many people that did not know that you were supposed to tip them out. Mm -hmm. And it's like, bro, she's he or she is waiting on you hand and foot. They Man. literally come back every 15 minutes. You good? You need anything? I've yeah. had clubs take care of me so well because the first night I, I expressed my gratitude through finances, um, but also just like through just good energy, man. Like, hey, thank you so yeah. much for checking on me. The yeah. whole night, I appreciate it. And yeah, man, everybody that's on that tour should be checking in, chipping in, because people will hop on your tour or they'll hop on the night and they be like, uh, yeah, I might get 15, cool. And then they come in the green room and they order a hundred dollars worth of food and alcohol. <laughs> hey man, thanks for the time. No, 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 no. Come here. Nah. Come here. I don't even <laughs> eat. I still tip. Oh. I don't even eat no more and I still tip. If the staff really, don't bro? like you. Yeah, I tip like at the end of the night, you're gonna be here tomorrow. And they'd be like, this is my last night, I'll tip them. I, I don't even get them. food because I'll be faster. And so if the staff, if the staff don't the like club. you, you won't come back. You would be fasting yeah. while you while you working weekend. I do the intermittent fasting. So by the time it's showtime, oh, I usually ate already. And it so does. they be like, You good? You good? I'm good. And then I just still tip. Or if they help me with the merch, I'm tipping them, whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. I and they'd be genuinely like surprised when you even like me and Tahir were paying the merch people, but then we would tip them in addition. And it would be like they had never been tipped in their life. I'm like, bro, what are comics doing? Like, some of them be real grateful. I'm, I'd be like, I'm like, didn't you just have this big name here last weekend? Why are you acting like it? probably be the worst. And I just want to say, like, I'm not in this in, in the comedy industry. I've never get sat, got on myself on a stage and done a joke. And I, I have such a high regard and appreciation for anyone who calls himself a comedian. Like, me just speaking honestly, I don't find myself quote unquote funny. Because in my profession, what I grew up with, if you are funny, you are labeled a comedian, period. Uh, uh, and yeah. I have such a high respect to anyone who is funny because to me, you are comedians. You guys are comics. You get on a stage and you can take people on a ride and enjoy it all. But the gems you guys are dropping, I'm pretty sure is not out there for anyone out there trying to figure out what they were supposed to do or how do they build themselves in these comedy markets out there. Oh, that that gem was not shared to, to a lot of people. They be comedians That's watching right. this. They don't be in. They don't be in the comments. But comics be at home watching to hear his joy. And, and it's it's not just that though. A lot of yeah. that, a lot of our good practices come from just manners. Yeah, like, that's, that's where it comes from. People me. like we like it, it. It just became a thing that like sometimes like Kev would pick up the bill and we'd be like, well, if you want to pay for us, we'll tip. And Kev felt like as 
as it being his tour and he taking on tour with us, he would pay for a meal. We, and, and Tony and I was like, you don't have to pay for us. We good. We, we're getting money. We, you know, we'll take care of him. Like, no, nah, I got you one meal and all of that. So we would make sure that we tip well so he doesn't have to. And like even with people taking too. us to the airport, you, you know, the, the, the hotel person, yes, that's their job, but we still would tip. what you say, Tony? He was still, even we be trying to get the tip, he, he would get the tip too, and I'd just be like. Listen, man, here's here's how I feel about it. If you were on tour with me, I, first of all, I didn't come from the traditional world. So when I found out what comedians were really getting and they would have to fly themselves, I just didn't understand, like, as the headliner, as the tour financer, you shouldn't have to worry about nothing if you're on tour with me. You shouldn't have to worry about food, at least one or two meals, flight, hotel, getting to the airport, None of that stuff. Now, Tahir and Tony are the hardest people on earth to do that for because they take it as a personal insult to it. Tony, like, I'll never eat food again before I let you pay for it. Like, these dudes were <laughs> a star. There was a point in time where there was probably a two month run where Tony and Tahir were going to the bathroom and prepaying <laughs> for the meal, like, at least their own part of the uh-huh. meal or paying for everybody like, bruh, I'm, I got you. Like I'm writing it off anyway, <laughs> just like. But you know what, here's the thing though, it's because we've heard some, so many horror stories, but also it's like, we, kn- like I knew and Tony knew what it took to get that first tour off. You put literally everything on the line. You bet it all, you had already walked away from all death. Well, you were about to walk away from all death on the four to- first tour. So we knew what was on the line. So we just wanted to feel like we were, Carrying our weight, we didn't want to ever see. Listen, like, let me tell you, just mooching off of somebody or ride somebody's coat. Y'all carry too much weight. There was too many times. Let me tell y'all something. As a comedian who's a professional, to have to follow Tony Baker at twenty-five minutes, which is prime real estate for a comedian, you just oh, get to hit your best stuff. Really you don't have to go f- like forty-five is way harder than twenty. Twenty-five is like, oh yeah, hey, wow. we spot. Man, watching Tony get a standing O and then <laughs> having to go after him was like, man, there was a time when me and Tahir this year, we were in um, like Rancho or something. This dude, Tahir, did 25 straight off the dome. And it was just me and him. And I was like, whew. <laughs> y'all, sure y'all, want, y'all sure y'all want to see me, Kevin? I don't know. <laughs> Everything was pretty good. If you that had, was the first show, work. too. That was the first show. That was the first show. I was like, it's gonna be a long year. <laughs> that was uh, that was Brea. That was Brea, Kev. Brea, it new, was Brea. New location. Brea Improv. Beautiful Brea. Club. I, I love. Like that club. That's one of my favorite. Rooms. Oh, like Brea that. was great. Yeah. That was my that first time. Cool? Listen, the IE and LA, I love you, but the IE, their love for stand-up comedy is far it's super. It's a different energy. You know why? Out there. Super you, know why? you know why the IE so good? They don't got nothing else to do. Facts. I've done shit else to do, Jackie. I Facts. have done shows. I've done shows in the IE. I've hosted or headlined, and the audience is sitting there like, "So th- this is it?" I'm like, "Yeah, this is. You've been here for three hours. What else the fuck y'all want?" We they have more. nothing else. They're Bring like, "Oh, more comics." They, I'm like, "No, you got. There were nine comics on the show. The show's over." They over. treated me so well. They threw <laughs> roses at my feet as I walked to my car. <laughs> Here's the thing. I tried to walk to my car. Four people carried me while three people threw roses at me. They didn't have roses. They had to drive to Ralph's to go get the roses. I'm going to move out here. I'm going to move out here. We, we yeah, recorded our first. Locations are the thing. Yeah, we did our first tour. The first show was in the IE. Man, they were there. The show was at, the love hours at 6. They were there at 4.30 outside waiting. Wow. Happy to be there. It was, and you can tell in the in the clips and Tony's and Tahir's and mine, the the good energy is is paramount. Oh, That's why audience, y'all got your own responsibility. All we ask is come ready to laugh. Just yeah. don't come with That's the proof be you're funny. Just come with an open heart and you want to laugh because black people be like, yeah, you're gonna prove to me that you're prove funny. It. Prove it. It's it. a comedy it's show thing, on the fire. Here's the thing though. <laughs> let me let me let me say this, Kev. And shout out to the person that just bought the uh, Come On Fam shirt off of uh, YouTube through. Come on, fam. Um, Come on, fam. It, the energy is what you make it as far as the, the entertainment. Because it's, it's like when you look at when Migos first came out and, and a, a lot of other groups, 
when they were doing shows and you would see all of these videos on World Stories about them fighting at their shows and people snatching their chains and all that type of stuff. That's the energy they put out to the world. I'm the baddest yeah. motherfucker around. Can't nobody do shit to me. All of this. That energy is what you're putting out. That's what's going to come to your show, right? Kev, you put out the energy like, hey, I'm a dad. I'm a husband. I find this funny and you guys should too. You you put out good energy. That's what comes to the shows. That's and what you were saying about currency, right? Huh? Weren't you saying that about currency? He didn't want that vibe. Yeah, his, currency his said that too. He said that in the interview too. He said he he remembers when he was with um No Limit and he wrote a rap about killing somebody and running up in their house and making their mama cry something like that. And then he got he got to thinking about like, damn, they mama really gonna be sad about that. And he's like, from that moment <laughs> on, I really just completely switched my style and just talked about what I really lived with. And yeah. that he's like, that's why I can walk around the crowd at my concerts and smoke weed with my fans. I ain't got to worry about nobody trying to fight or snatch my chain or give me no bullshit because that energy ain't at my crowd. That's so, probably why the baby got to fight everybody because that's what the energy he puts mind, out. Bro, baby. Well, you, he got to protect that name all the time. No, if you talk about oh, always fucking is, somebody's bitch, happening? if you exactly. always fucking somebody's bitch, and it ain't just some chick, it's somebody's bitch. This is somebody's girlfriend. <laughs> they sleep chest to back. Six nights out of the week. I had to think about that. <laughs> That's hilarious to hear because it do be like that. I've never heard it. That's like that, Cleo. Chest back is hilarious. They sleep chest to back six nights a week and you be like, I'm fucking your bitch while you were at the store and you're going to get home. It's like, I'm all at your bitch crib all on the Wi-Fi. You be like, hey, I pay for that Wi-Fi. You, they going to come. So Being on the Wi-Fi is so disrespectful too. That's just you just log it in with the what's the password? Are you naked? Are you naked? <laughs> you put some put some drawers on. You're gonna ask that for the is, password. That is the password. Are you naked? That's funny. <laughs> I want. Let Hell me take. Nah, let me get take one second, Kevin. I did your conference you had a few weeks ago. It was fantastic. It it, it lasted oh, for seven hours. No, 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 not that one. The one before that one. The, the Stage for Creators conference? The one, yeah, the one that you had, had no idea would last for three days and you didn't need sleep or food. Or yeah, breakfast. it was a lot. It was wonderful, though. Thank and... you. I would probably never do it again. No, when you say that, it makes me sad. You have to make no. that an annual thing. I don't have to. And no. I won't. <laughs> I don't have I ain't got to do nothing. Um, some things you only do one time and you and realize. Tony, and Tony spoke at it. I loved it. Oh, well, now you know what to do. You get you have no, I, know, I know what not to do, Jackie. Why? It was so good. It, you know what? Here's what I've realized with that. Some things you are able to do, but that doesn't mean you should do them. Love it. Did, did it right? damage your marriage I, or something? Did you have no, a, no, no. Ask, it was ask, just. Ask? the amount of work and planning like i am able to do stand-up comedy and i should do that yeah. i can host a conference but that doesn't highlight my skill set the same you, way you were so good at it no it was the worst i was <laughs> i was exhausted i wanted it to be over i was tired i was hungry it was long i did it all in one day well, why can't you uh, why can't you do it a different way so that you don't have all those problems? i am doing it a different way not doing it is a <laughs> I can tell you, Jackie, with 100% certainty, I am not doing I that again. I was so impressed. It was so beautiful. No. It, cried. It was the I, yeah, I cried. I cried when Tony spoke. Oh, was it was like, great. It was wonderful. Listen, <laughs> you and Tony have the same mindset about, and to here as well, we have the same mindset about Hollywood. And that is y'all ain't checking for me. I ain't checking for you. I'm gonna do well, my. I have, I have that mentality now. I'm trying. I'm, I'm putting out all kind of shit now because I'm like I'm tired of getting my feelings hurt. Yeah, I listen. You don't. I don't even go over there no more. Y'all don't. <laughs> think, I don't even go over their house no more. I'd be like, bro, I'm good over here because uh -huh. Hollywood is great. And don't get me wrong. I love it's the world. Yeah. It's a different mindset to be in the audition. Cleo, you know you. I'm you got to speak. I'm gonna let you speak on it, brother. And I'll, okay, I'll but then I want to hear your thoughts because the mindset to audition over and over and deal with that level of rejection, as confident as I am, I cannot take it. It's a lot. I'd it's be questioning lot. my <laughs> own abilities. I'm like, bro, am I good at this? Because 
Everybody seems to think I'm not at, <laughs> so, <laughs> at acting like I just, and they don't, <clears throat> the thing, I know this might be dumb and I'll let you, I want to hear what you have that to say because you actually booked. They don't even bother telling you, you didn't book it. They just don't call you again. They don't that care. Means one night that stand. Means no. You don't, that means you don't no. even get anything out of it. It's, it's literally just like a flirt and then you never hear from them again. You give them the <laughs> number. They, they specifically ask for your number and they like, That's you know what? what I don't understand. Let me get the email too, just in case your number is not working. You're like, all right, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm free anytime. They're like, all right, cool. Well, I look forward to hearing you know from you. I, I look forward to hearing from you and then you will ever hear from them. They no, lied to you thing. to hear, Cleo, how? How did you do it, bro? How did you wait, wait, Real quick, hold on, Cleo, wait, wait, before wait, you, you- know what I hate? Cleo, before you go, I also want to give a shout out to Kadeem because Kadeem is in the chat, man. Uh, everyone's going to go to go to Zordon. What's up to Kadeem? And also, we are at 4,700 people mm -hmm. and only 1,600 likes, man. Wow, that, that likes people? up. Get the likes Get up. Get the man. likes up to 2,500 at least, man. Uh, Cleo, go ahead. But I also just want to say I got two callbacks this week, one for Allstate and one for Tasty Cake. So okay. it out hey, there. Be be Wait, but you Chapter know what hurts with the, with the commercial? They Let also Cleo want, they go. Also he, to hear interrupted him and then somebody else was going. Real quick, with the commercial, they also want your size. And that's also hurts. Oh, okay, go ahead, Cleo. Listen, commercial <laughs> auditions are a whole other ballpark to deal with because it's literally off of look, your facial expression. It takes this fat, like you're in and out of there. But right. there's literally, it's like a cattle call. You're seeing people who look just like you, look nothing like you. That's a whole different ballpark. Now let's <laughs> talk about what it's like to audition for a film. Let's talk about what it's like to audition for a television series. It's re goddamn ridiculous. Bro. <laughs> I've been acting, I told my mother at the age of five years old that I wanted to be an actor. I didn't book my very first role until I was about seven or eight years old. And we didn't come from a family of people being in the industry. We just had to figure it out as we went. Holes didn't happen until I was 13. And it, wow. as we see, it skyrocketed from there. But now we're playing in a whole different ballpark. Now it's like, oh shit, like, yo, they, they know you. Now they want to ask for you. Now you got to go in, now you got to talk. But I have never been offered a role. I've had to go in and audition for every single thing that I've ever really? booked. Really? Never been offered a role. You never got no offer only? Never. So everything that I've ever, I've ever been in or booked, I had to go audition for. That's wow. my dream was offer only. What's that like? That's I, everybody. For sure. it's but you gotta be a list. That's a world. whole different genre. And like, yo, it it sucks because there's people who don't know this business at all. Kev, to hear Jackie, Tony, they have no idea. They have no idea. You send them into one audition, they're crushed. See what it feels like after five thousand. So Ooh. Cleo, somebody in the comments said Bro. that's just like a job interview. No, it's not. No, I'm it's not. Why? Because when you audition for something, you don't hear back, and then you see your friend on TV uh, doing the job you had. It's like going to McDonald's, and you're like, "Oh, so you doing fries? I can do fries as good as that." <laughs> like you literally have to watch other people do the job that you wanted, and then they get to be on big screens and stuff. It's tough. You know, you know what happened to me? Part, I auditioned. I auditioned to be on Gabriel Iglesias' Netflix show, right? And mm -hmm. I had a great audition, and I, I good enough. I'm like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna get a call back at least. Then I had a show at the Comedy Union, and Sherry Shepard had a show there too. And she was like, I have to get out of here. I gotta go up now. I have a flight tomorrow to shoot this new show with Gabriel. I'm like, so you're the one that got the role? She was like, Ooh, my bad. This is not a good way to find out. <laughs> Oh then, my god! The part about the business that people don't know. Oh, that this sucks so just, bad. That's but that happens a lot because Pete, the women who look don't like don't cut me, off Cleo one more time. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I was finishing Ow. Jackie's thing. Go ahead, Cleo. Yeah. Go ahead, Cleo. It's about auditioning. Like it's it's a process, right? It has yeah. to happen. Studios, networks, they have to audition. Period. But the thing is. Two or two people into walking into that room, there's already an offer out going out to the other person that That's they wanted what, in the first that place. Burns but my people don't know that yeah. though. The people have no idea about that, and you're not supposed to express that. But that's the truth. You can have 30 people going in for one role, right? And for that entire day, that casting agency has to get their bills paid. So they're gonna they're gonna see all 30 people. Oh, Those sad. 30 people have no chance at the role because the offer is already out to the person that they wanted in the first place. The oh, but good luck though. It's all for What's Cleo, the that's point, that's Cleo? Maddening, oh. Cleo. But Cleo. just in case the person that they want turns it down. If I go on IMDb all the time if I'm watching a movie, and I love reading the, the part where they considered such and such for this role. I like to see who who they went after first before who we know ended up with the role. 
So yeah. like they they asked Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, all these people turned it down, but Brad Pitt ended up doing it. So yeah. now it's just funny to see how many people turn down these roles and who they went after first. Like every movie, sometimes you you read like they initially wanted him for the role, like they came to him directly. But usually it's like everybody passed on something. Oh. But in our minds, it's like I never saw anybody but Bruce Willis right. in his role. Right, <laughs> bro. Because the one I, who gets it, usually, the, in my opinion, they they they're meant to have it. Like when the Netflix sure. movie, Eddie Murphy's movie, uh, Dolomite, the 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 black girl, the plus size black girl, who yeah, had the role, I auditioned for that. Me and too. I, yeah, and I call. I mean, I email Arsenio. I I text Eddie's cousin. Anybody who I knew in the vicinity of Eddie Murphy, I'm like, I will do whatever is necessary. Please let him give me some favor. But when I saw her in the role, I'm like, she she killed it. She yeah, was she meant did. to have she it. Did. She so, did great. Yeah, well, let that go. It's but I feel like you could have done me, great. Let me, hold on, let me say this real quick. Okay, go ahead. I did this one audition, and they called me back for it, right? I, I took a completely different turn on what, what they would have... Spice in the building. Spice. You Unit is off. Random. Unit is off. Spice. Listen, I went an hour and a half. The unit is hot, bro. I can't. I listen. Before I was bald, I had the low even. I am not used to hair on my ears. I can't (laughs) take it. I cannot. I know how we feel. It's a, it's Listen, a hard I usually put it on for the video. It's on for five minutes max. It's an hour and a half. I can't do it. <laughs> I got the fan right here. My ears. Look, my ears are red. Shut <laughs> up. Stop complaining. This is this is what I was gonna say. Um, I went out for this one audition. I took a completely different turn from the character, Cleo. Mm. They loved it. Right. Exactly. They called me back. They say, man, we loved every decision you made about this character. Could you do it again for us? So I did the whole audition over again. Okay, they was like, all right, well, now try it like this. Boom. All right, took the notes, received it, boom, adjusted, did it like that. I did that for four different characters. Wow. Four different characters. That same day, I didn't even, this is a cold read to the other three characters. I just did it. Bro, they took my ideas Oh, Ad- adapted them to the characters and still didn't book me for any of the. Oh four no! no. Oh. Treachery. Ooh, That's quit. one story. I Second story. Oh. I, I auditioned for Coming to America too. I auditioned wow. literally for forty-eight hours, not forty-eight hours straight, but I, 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 I had two private teachers, and then I worked with four different friends for an amassed time of forty-eight hours. Ooh, you were serious. Had. Work I right. never tell people about roles that I'm going out for. Not until I booked it for the most part. Oh, yeah. I told this story at the uh, at, our, at our show in St. Louis. I'm in my hometown. Everybody stretched their hand out because we did the show in the church. Everybody stretched their hand out and prayed over my life and said, you go get this. I said, I got this. I go to <laughs> <laughs> I go to the studio. This is on uh, Sunset and um, uh, where's the Gower? Where's the, um, Sunset Gower. and Gower. Yep. I go in. I'm ready. I had I had I had an audition class that I mean not an audition class, but I had a private lesson that morning for two hours just Sorry. to get ready. I go in, I'm ready, right? Okay, you said five down, the dude's like, Who you here for? I was like, coming to America too. I'm the best friend. Boom, finish signing. He was like, well, What's your name? I was like, to hear more, get used to standing. Keep signing it, right? <laughs> that man says. Yeah, that audition was canceled. Oh, no. I say, excuse me? I say, no, nah, my <laughs> agent would have let me know if it was canceled. Like, nah, it was canceled. Uh, I don't know why they ain't let you know, but uh, I still validate your parking. Validate your parking? <laughs> Bro, so that I was, was told. That's the least of my worries right guys, now. Hold on, listen, listen. I was told, first of all, at the scene that it was canceled. My, they didn't let the, my agent know. They didn't let me get all the way up there. I'm pumped up, right? Had to leave, right? I find out later that they they canceled it because of rewrites. Y'all y'all doing rewrites when y'all doing auditions? Okay, cool. I'm like, are they <laughs> going to call everybody that had an audition back? Yeah, sure. They'll call you guys back once they get they nail down these last couple of details. Cool. I'm good with that, right? Two weeks later, oh. coming to America Two has been fully cast. They start production next week in Atlanta. 
Yeah, brother. <laughs> but yo, that's what I'm saying, bro. People that's no people have no clue about that. So, like, as actors and people in this entertainment industry, y'all have no idea when y'all walk up to us thinking, Well, why come this? Why come this? Y'all have no idea of the Leo. politics and the things that are going on in this industry. That, I'm talking about your time wasted. I just told you 30 people will go into an audition, waste their entire time to prepare for the role, spend all that money that Tahir just did to go into audition, $5,000, and it not happen just because they already have an offer out to someone else. But y'all have Leo. no idea about that. Leo, here's the thing, here's the thing. I looked at everybody attached to coming to America too. I looked at the DP, I looked at the director, <laughs> I looked at the producers, I looked at the writers, I looked at the casting, I looked at costume, I looked at where it was shot at, I looked at what studio was shot at, I looked at the stars and the assistant stars and the second leads. I well, looked at- the is not playing. Anytime somebody do their fingers like this, they is not I wrote cool. down everybody's name and position. I have it on my wall. I say I will never work with any of these fuckers a day in their life. They might not know anything about what happened. I have a vendetta and I'm going to hold that shit to the day I die. I would, but here's the craziest part. Here's the craziest part, right? Uh-huh. All Dev Digital <laughs> gets a, 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 we have to do some of the rollout for coming to America too, right? They like they 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 reach out to us we're like, hey, can you guys come up with some content for promotional? Like, yeah. And I'm just like, oh yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, he was talking all that. He be like, I got y'all. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm gonna write the most worst shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> Two times like, walking a bar. Oh my gosh. The conversation began with Kev saying he don't even check for that side anymore, and you got to understand like. That's what it has become because guess what? That side is always looking over here now because they have no idea what to do next. They're looking at social media, who's building their own brand and who they can figure out like, yo, if we add them to this, that gets us the numbers. That's what they have to do now. Mm-hmm. I've already told the story, I think, to hear about going in for the audition for, um, for the Teen Titan series. My own agent, I, t- I got booked for a role, my dream role, be a part of the Teen Titan series. I'm, I'm a comic book guy. Wow. I just had signed up. I just had went and got my new passport done two weeks before that, but it hadn't shipped yet. My agent calls me the day before. Hey, they want to fly you to Canada. You're booked for the role. Listen, I don't have my passport. I will have it tomorrow morning. Do not tell them that I don't have my passport. I will go and get it. (laughs) By 11 a.m. that next morning, I had a brand new passport in my hand and the red eye flight was supposed to be booked. What did my agent do? No. Tell him, didn't have my passport. Oh, my, no. my dream role was stripped from me. Oh, well, how did you move on from that? Did you how fire did your on? agent? I know. Listen, I'll be real. I'll be real, Jackie. Oh, I drank. I drank quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I drank. Like, hey, man. I'm an AA right now because of this. I'm getting hey, oh, wait, wait, wait. If, it, if it make y'all feel better, I got released at Disney World. You got released? What? If it, if it make y'all feel better. Release where? You were at Disney World with your family and they let you go? And I got released. Levy Smith called me and said, hey, hey, big guy. Uh, we're going to have to let you go. Oh, I, was you... Like, I was like, let me go where? I don't understand. Where am I? Yeah, I don't, where, where are we going? Let me go where? Big guy. Levy uh, Smith called you personally. You didn't tell him you were at Disney World? You was at Disney World when the Bears let you go. Oh. I was at I was at the happiest place on earth, getting the worst news possible. Yo, oh how did you go on and ride a ride after that? You ain't got no job. No, Spider- <laughs> hey, hey. you about to lose your this, job. This, this I was on the Go-Man ride. The teacups, like the yeah, he was on the ride, just taking it. He was. He's just like, he's just the like, kids was like, "Daddy," he was like. <laughs> Oh man! So you about bad. to lose your job? Get this there. You about to lose your job? Did you? Did you, Spice? Did you have any idea? First of all, nice to meet you, Cleo and Spice. I never met you guys before. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Me too. Did you ever? Did you have any inkling, any kind of idea that it might be happening? No, because I had I had one year left on my deal, and I figured like the year, the past year, I had got hurt. 
And so I was like working my way back. So I figured like, you know, I'm a vet. I've been in the league nine years. They're going to let me come back and, you know, honor my contract. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they called me and released me in February. So I'm like, dang, that's respect. <laughs> you calling me on February to tell me about some new plays? Season ain't till August, September. I'm like, yo, this is respect. Then he hit me up like, yeah, we got a uh, big guy. We're going we're gonna to let you go. The oh. NFL is a cold piece, man. Nice. It is. Ugh. God, dog. Cold the piece. NFL be like, all right, bye. Some people, <laughs> hey, Kev, some people don't even get calls, though. They find out just like how everybody else find out. ESPN, that bottom ticker. Oh, no. Oh, that's foul. That's foul. Oh. That's, that, that's horrible. Yeah, you had the gym on the only <laughs> has just got released. Watching the big screen while you want to let go of the eagle. I'll put it down just a little bit. Pull this down? (laughs) Yes. My mic, is it too loud? Mice, you're waking up my neighbors. My neighbors are waking up. I'm coming in too hot. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. Is that why you got the mic like that? That's the DMX mic? Yeah, it is. Mike, you are waking up. That's the DMX filter? You're waking up my neighbors. Mine is so, is so dumb, bro. Hey, my bad. No, the NFL be so cold. Like you be like Edrin James is an amazing running back. He be in the league, and then you just don't hear about him no more. You be like Edrin in, in the league no more, and just like that, you be gone. The NFL will cut you after a great season because they just don't want to pay you no more, and, and just get, move on. And give somebody else your jersey number. Oh, oh. I want the hands. I want the hands Bro, in that. NFL and Hollywood got to be neck and neck with the treachery because oh, they don't have guaranteed contracts, so they treat people any kind of way. Listen, this is one thing I learned from Clayton Thomas, very good friend of mine, man. Clayton Thomas had a show that unfortunately never came out, but it was I remember when he hilarious. announced it. I remember when he announced it. Was one it. of the most hilarious shows I've ever well, had. I don't know. On. Um, <laughs> one thing he said is that if you ever get a chance to get a show, name it after yourself. Ah. That way, everybody in the show is replaceable except for you. Ah. When that whole Martin thing happened, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but I know I know who wasn't going to leave the show. Martin Lawrence. Yeah, he, he, he the one person that came. Everybody else is expandable. That's not, that's, not that's not what? true. That's not true. That's not true. Nah, man, Roseanne was out of here. Oh, oh they, that's new so, era, though, Tony. That's new. But they era. canceled the whole show, though, didn't they, Tony? Or they kept going. They, no, they kept going. They kept going for one season. They, Without they her? Season. Without they her, they was like, I it was a Roseanne, thing. you're out of Roseanne. But I I, I'm Roseanne. <laughs> Wait, didn't they call it the Connors? Did they change yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. But they, 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 show. The Connors. But they stayed in the same house she made the show but, to begin with. For the last but listen, whatever, it wasn't years. called Roseanne. It was called the Connors. No, but it's the same, same show to hear. Same family, it, the same house. The the Roseanne was out. here, but your point isn't the same. It kept everybody else but her. I don't care what you're saying. My point is it's always right. <laughs> Listen, they Jeff, have you been working on your abs? You gotta redeem that picture, bro. I still on this mic. <laughs> I was two dollars still. What's happening? <laughs> Why? I want like he on the helicopter. Why are we getting I, this? I work on nothing. I don't care. This is me flexing. Oh, Kevin, no, Kevin, sit down. This is me flexing. Uh, Hold on, this is regular. Oh my gosh. Watch me. I'm sorry. Flex. I'm sorry, guys. You brought this on us, Spice. You I brought did. this on us. Listen, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm we, we got we got 13 minutes. Spice just got back, man. Spice, I want to ask you because I I know I know some of the story because I watched the growth, but I know there are a lot of parts that I miss, and then a lot of parts that people. Why is your whole goddamn shirt off? There are a lot of a lot of points and a lot of parts that a lot of people miss, man. You blew up. You had <laughs> what 1.2, 1.5 million now on the gram. How did it almost get here? Two. And how what was the what was the spark that like like this is what I'm gonna do? I had uh, it, it all started off as a dare. First, First of, of all, all I, I bring, mean, bring that mic down just a little bit, Spike. Just know, bring it I down. I would down. not be a to the mic at no. all. Spice is not loud? giving up on this mic, man. <laughs> is it too loud? It's, it's, too loud. it's coming in hot, Spike. It's the peak. It's mad loud, though. I thought I turned it down, man. I guess I don't like announcements at the public school. It's so loud. Yeah, hey. <laughs> 
I'm just hype, bro. Let me let me stand up or something. Man. It sounds like, it sounds like oh, you're man. announcing orders at a at a hood food spot. Now you said you wanted the just, cheese. You want right. cheese, right? You ordered right. with the cheese, right. right? You but you wanted Monterey. You wanted Monterey. You wanted uh cheddar cheese, right? <laughs> you wanted cheddar cheese, right? And you wanted chili on the on the on the on the fries, right? Okay, we got you. I sound like he worked at Harold. Yeah, yeah, the green beast. No, you know, the you know to put the bread up under it to yeah, catch all the natural the half juices. White. The half white with the bread underneath. <laughs> See, like, I'm never gonna answer this question. Spice <laughs> behind that bulletproof glass. We got to press. That's why I ain't got no regrets. <laughs> 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 My favorite junk in the world, bro. Oh, uh, Tony. Tony's I'm almost dead, but I'm still alive video is the funniest thing. No, no, I'm just, I'm just close my eyes. Uh. <laughs> it never Tony said away. that's how he finished in his first set. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's it's the it's the uh the parody videos that jumped you up in, in social media. Think that was it? Spice? Yeah, I remember, that, I remember that, my that, intro that. to Spice. I'm gonna let him answer, but my intro to Spice, he was like a, the coach character and his pants was real high. And I was just like, yo, man, this is mad funny. And then from <laughs> then on, he's been he's been a jewel in my social oh, media. Oh done life. done. But something's happening though, Spice, you losing weight. What what are you oh, doing? Man. You want some sort of crash diet? I done I don't I done lost like 110 pounds, man. Wow. Wow. This 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 is what I gotta do now. Oh my since, god! Since Kev took his shirt off. It's too loud. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Sanitize the eyeball. <laughs> Sanitize him. Go ahead. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, but what happened was I did this um uh, uh character Cream Biggums right, and I I wasn't gonna do it because I was like it's so stupid. Like I'm doing all these moves and I'm in the garage. This is stupid. I'm doing them on air. I'm not even doing it against anybody. There's no rim involved. Like nothing. And so we traveled to my son had a uh, he had a track and field event or whatever. We went there and I was falling asleep. This was when the Cavs was playing. Um, uh, who is it? Uh, Golden State Warriors. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to post this like because it's the finals. I'm just going to post it. Post it. Fell asleep. I woke up. Phone going crazy. <laughs> they like um, Kevin Hart just posted your video. Oh, wow. so I'm like. Kevin Hart is a whole full blown comedian who puts his own stuff on his page. Like he didn't put my video on his page. I was like, maybe he commented or something. But when he posted it, then House of Highlights posted it, then Snoop Dogg, then Jamie Foxx, then like everybody who was everybody posted it. So it got to the point where I had to create an account for Cream Biggums. Now Cream got like 330,000 Followers on Instagram. Cream has 300,000 followers. Oh my God. Bro, Cream got 328,000 followers. Cream Biggums is in NBA Live 19. He really, I saw the, the I saw the front of the thing for, I, bro, I got 175,000 and I can't get verified to save my life. Kareem have you, you applied? And they, they, I've they, applied they, 30 times. To hear said, first of all, to, to hear said Kareem Biggums. Kareem Biggum? I, 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 I say it how I want to say it. I Kareem? Say it. <laughs> You're not going to make me feel bad about what I do. Well, y'all know Tahir is a wordsmith. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop Man, it. My, my I, had, I had to change my name. Everybody got their cash out, but I had to change yeah, my name. Yeah, that's the thing, Spice. They, they donate while they're here, man. They bless you. Know. Brother Kadeem introduced me to Spice Adams, man, and I'll never forget that very first video of what you say, not Chuck. And <laughs> I saw my uncle, my my family, on my no. dad's all from Texas. I feel, I feel like y'all set me up. No, 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 no Spice. No. Let me tell you something. Corpus Christi, Texas. I got uncles just <laughs> like that. First, Spice video when he retired from the NFL. Stuff free agents say was when I first found out about him. <laughs> but the dumbest video Spice ever did was chicken, the chicken with the pants oh. on with the Bluetooth. I'm doing it. I freaking had pants on, bro. I was dying so hard. Whoa. 
Oh, it's still. I it's can post that video, video every I'm single video. day for the rest of his life, and I will laugh. That video is like Tony Baker, the dog that was pumping the with no dog. He was just mm, 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 mm. <laughs> preview pumps. Oh, preview pumps. pumps. Prison preview pumps. pumps is the funniest <laughs> thing I have ever seen. That and look at what you came to see with a <laughs> yeah, dog. You better. I, I want to file a complaint, Tony. You haven't been. I've been sending you videos. You're not using any of the ones that I'm sending. I did, Jackie. That's not we did, true. We did one like two months ago. I sent you one daily. You just no, like, I, I did one the other day. You said, but I sent you like eleven a week. I mean, you know, always like, late. Tony always like already did that one. Tony don't even text you back when he used your video. I'm sick of him. Oh, he Jackie just Tony. sent me the bear. You just sent me the bear smelling the girl. I just did that the other day. The bear smelling. Oh yes, you're right. But I didn't know that was from me. I figured that was I was doubling up. Well, on people you right send now. me the same videos over yeah. and over. No, but... Tony, you know, he don't say thank you or please. I no, just he don't. Assume, I just have to assume oh. he loves me. I gotta go by that. I gotta assume. Y'all got me Tony, looking bad. I'm actually people. pretty happy. Tony's used probably. 15, 20 of my videos. Oh, yeah. I'll be using yeah. spices, calves, jackets. Yeah, no, he uses uh, them. Not to he, hear, probably, he probably responded in his head and not via text. I'll yeah, be, be like, oh, yeah, this is a good one. I'm going to do this. Or I'll be like, I'm going to do this. And then I just uh, do it. <laughs> Everybody on here, except, I don't text Jackie, but everybody on here responds to me except Tony Baker. What? I think it's just Tony's MO. That's okay. Might be on purpose. Oh. Actually, Another have question. Looked at it. Kevin, was the love hour as as stressful as the one you did? No, because Melissa did that all by herself. I just showed up and talked. Aww. Jackie, I'm not doing it. I'm never doing it again. <laughs> so I don't sad. care. Yes, I'm, yes, yes, he will, Jackie. No, yes, is, will. Is, is my mic still hot? Yes, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Where did you get this mic from? Mad hot. Oh, okay. My bad. He literally <laughs> bought it from an old Harold. If he it weren't for him. Spice, I would not. Spice introduced me into Toby, my favorite rapper. If it weren't for Spice, I wouldn't even know Toby exists. Right. Spice really? is the gift. Yeah. Spice did a video with Toby where he was doing what you say now, Chuck. And I was like, yo, this dude is rapping for real. Like, mm. let me check him out. And then I found out that's why it's so important for content creators to create. You, you just content. upset me. You just upset me, Kevin. Okay. No, how am I supposed to know? Because. Cause it, it reminds me of Anita Baker. Uh, oh. uh, speak on it, Spice. Between you talk and Tony, it, Spice. man. Make the mic, make the mic hotter right now. Talk it's about it. It's going on three years, guys. Let me live. That blood. <laughs> ah! What happened? I'm not hot. <laughs> What happened with Anita it's Baker? It's three years, guys. It's what three happened? years. I think, I, think, I think Tony should tell the story. Okay. So we were on tour, minding our own business. <laughs> Only took one time. And Anita Baker songs comes up. Oh, 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 that's the Spice Adams song. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> with all due respect to my boy Spice, what'd you just say? <laughs> that's the Spice Adams track. I was like, <laughs> you, you, you never heard of Anita Baker before before Instagram videos? He was like, well, well, you see, and he started scrambling. See, my parents, it was church, and, you know, we went to the church, and, you know, vacation Bible school, and, you know, the disciples, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and it was just all kind of scrambling and hustling. And tithes, you got to pay your tithes. And then I was just like, you don't know Anita Baker. So, uh, my. Are, you, are you Amish, Kevin? What type so of he, I he, am hiding from this. I don't want to hear it again. Oh, God. So he tweets <laughs> and, and you know, he's got connections. <laughs> Spice. He Sweet. ends up at an Anita yeah. Baker concert getting a yeah. shout out oh, for Anita God. herself. I'm going to tell you the worst yeah. thing that yeah. ever happened to me. Sweet. This is the worst thing that ever happened to me. I thought that the blacks would love me because I went to her concert. But when I got a picture with her and got to go backstage, that infuriated the blacks. The blacks were so much more <laughs> upset because I got, she called me out and I got to meet her and that made all the blacks 10. I thought they would be happy. They were not. I greatly underestimated the blacks. They were so upset 
that I got to meet her. You don't deserve it. You don't, I, you don't even, when you were a child, you didn't even get to clean up to her. You don't know every single song she ever released. You don't even like bakery. You know, wait, like, wait, wait. You thought she was at a Spice Adams concert, kid. When you were a child, you ain't gonna, gonna be there. Clean up to her. <laughs> they were so mad at me to hear. I'm like, bruh, it's, it's not my fault. I was a baby. Oh, it's just a wee Seamus. Uh, listen, it's it's nine o'clock, man. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, it's eleven fifty nine. Yeah, so it's, it's not quite time yet. Spice, tell us how you got started on uh, social media. Yeah. Uh, Spice, we always end at nine o'clock. We go a little longer sometimes, but uh, hey, Jackie, are you not in LA? Are you not in LA, Jackie? I live in LA for twenty years. I moved back to New York in November. Mm. Really? Yes. I didn't know. So yeah. Cleo, tell us what it was like working on uh, Walking Tall with The Rock. Cleo, I want to do what, what DMX did. DMX in the battle, at one point he said to somebody standing in the booth, he said, who are you? Who is you? Y'all hear that? There was somebody standing in the studio and he, he turned into a criminal. He's like, who is you? Poor X. X ain't made for the new generation of any of this, man. No, X, with Rock, X had tall. on Pele Pele sweatpants. He had on sweatpants. Jackie, if Pele, you don't Pele, Pele, answer the question. Jackie, I, I respect you so much, ma'am. But damn, damn. Do I do that a lot? Tonight it was amazing <laughs> working with Rock and walking. That's, that's Kev. Well, actually, Kev's been a lot better lately. So now it's you, Jackie, and then uh, that's CP, and then it's uh, my man. That's Pooh, and then that's Cleo, and then we're still saying hot. Fight. I, I, I can't. Is it still hot? I'm excited. I haven't been here in a long time. So I'm excited to talk to everybody. <laughs> is this real? People don't understand wait, that. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this and then we'll close out. Um wait, we'll I have wanna, some questions wait, for here. Wait, wait, no, no, you don't, Tony. I just shut wanna up. tell you guys I love you guys. I love you guys so Oh much. God. No. Today here they doing it. Sometimes they all they do it. I talk to all day. <laughs> I ain't talk to people all day long. Sometimes y'all are the first people. Am I still hot? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Chaos in here. Listen, this is what I I, I want to just give you guys a couple updates. I want to hear. I, 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 I made. Hold on, hold on. Wait a second, Jackie. Just, hold on. Just, just wait a here, second. Hold on, to here. Before you go on, I just want you to know this is the funniest thing ever, bro. Spike keeps adding in his mic hot, and Jackie keeps getting. No, I can't even hear myself. There was a time when I, you know, before zooming with the homies, it became because this is so funny. Zooming with the homies. I remember when this started. We were, I was at home. You were on Instagram Live, and you were like, on YouTube. And this is how the whole thing started. I have been here. Since the inception, I was only with the hundred. Yeah, you remember to hear. You remember to hear. Remember, you and Jackie coming over to YouTube. Uh, you then you started the whole thing. I just like, I am intellectual. You know, yeah. What? What y'all know? When you change the time from the night, I'm skipping. I'm like, I just wanted to be a part of it. I love you, 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 I love I had to mute both of their ass. It hurts to hear. I muted, I muted both of them just to say this. <laughs> it hurts to laugh, bro. Oh, to man. Hear. And we're going to go for another hour. It would have never stopped. That would you, you had muted, Spice. That's why we can't hear nothing. You uh, it. It's still going with something. <laughs> Yo, yo, legit but here's just unmute for a second and see if he's still singing to hear. Just unmute because it says I have to ask to mute, it won't let me unmute it no more. <laughs> oh my god, he's still singing. <laughs> <laughs> My cheeks hurt, man. Oh, listen, listen. listen. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Listen, just a couple of notes real quick. Mm-hmm. First off, to everybody, man, thank y'all for watching. Um, there may or may not be some reconstructing of the show in the next couple of weeks. Also, um, this show has been pretty good thus far, but I have to also do some work to make some money. So just giving you guys a heads up, there may be a one to two week hiatus on Zooming with the homies, just to give you the heads up. I don't want to do it, but I got to make some money, guys, and I can't keep burning both ends of the candles. It is like literally taking a toll on me, so um, just letting y'all know that up top. But in the restructuring of it, you guys are really going to enjoy what I have in mind if, if we end up doing that, but just know that it may be two weeks without Zooming with the homies at the most. Um, I'll finish everything else after everyone else gets gets that sign off off the way. Uh, let's start. <laughs> let's start with Hold Cleo. On, before you in, they've been asking this in the comments. Cleo, did you fire your agent for for messing up the password? Yes. I walked away from the agency. One of the you biggest did? A- one of the biggest agencies in the city. I walked away from because I felt that that was ultimately disrespectful. Can you but hear me? um, I, I just got to say, man, you know, our business has evolved so much since you know what, what many people w- will always go back to. Of course, as holes, that's fine. But the industry was nowhere what it was like then compared to what it is yeah. now. So I am grateful that I've always had a, an adaptive mind to be able to say, all right, how do we shift? How do we shift? How do we shift? Yeah. Uh, but to hear, thank you so much for having me on Zoom with the homies, to be up here with OGs <laughs> like yourself, like like Kev, like yeah. Spice, like Tony, like Jackie. This was an amazing experience. <laughs> I, bro, my stomach is in. <laughs> Yo, Spice and Jackie going oh. on 10 for 10 minutes straight is oh. the funniest that has been the joy of my week i could not <laughs> stop my cheeks are still hurting bro they were not stopping they were so committed to the joke bro i could i was hurting my body i was laughing so it was hard. weird because i was laughing hard but i was also annoyed because <laughs> you know me i can't handle it so it, it was a mixture of the two different emotions i almost died Tony, I was just really committed to them both being like, I will never, I will die before I stop this joke. I will never die. I will die. Is this still still hot? Is it still hot? Is the mic still hot? Oh, man. Can you guys hear me? Die before I give up on this joke. Can you hear me? (laughs) Shut up, Jackie. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm sick of you. Jackie was cut off McGee tonight. Jesus Christ. Right. I have. I'm, I'm lonely, Tony. <laughs> God. Nothing like it. I'd be like, so Cleo, um, tell corner. me about what it was like. And then Jackie, Jackie goes, go let ahead me and tell you tell us what you got going on and where they can find you at. Tony, Who, your me? ass is next to get muted. Who me? Yes, Jackie. Oh. You're Jackie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's, who's, who's next? Go, 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 go. Who's next? <laughs> Why are you doing this, dog? I don't know where you got that mic from the Staples Center. Where'd you get that mic from? Oh. 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 Uh, I, I, bro, the unit didn't stand a chance against Spice and Jackie. <laughs> yeah, y'all can find me on JackieFabulous.com. Uh, there you can buy my album everywhere that albums are sold. It's called Fabulously Naughty. Buy my album. Please go to my YouTube page, YouTube dot com slash Jackie Fabulous and subscribe and watch my podcast Relatable with Jackie Fabulous. Oh my god. And uh and everybody go over to my Instagram and follow me there. Follow all the all the things. And so are we are we the are we the season the series uh hiatus episode team? No, we're gonna we're gonna finish out the week. I just okay. haven't decided if I'm gonna uh, if I'm not gonna do it next week or Ooh, I'm gonna start the week after because I'm, I'm going, I'm going, to family, I'm going on family vacation for a week. We going, we get in the place in Palm Springs, like literally a week after we get the new place. And um, what new place? Oh, you got the new place, Tia? What new yeah, place? We, we, we move in on the seventh. The one what, you, you bought a house? Come? Yeah. You bought a house? No, 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 Jackie. No, I, no, 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 no house. No, I, I didn't got the. We got a, we got a one room shack. What? The here, shut up. To hear your, your, your mic is hot. <laughs> Jeez, back up from the mic. Wow. To hear, so you bought a new place and you're going to move, go on vacation. That's wonderful. 
No, Jackie, I don't know what you're talking about. Our vacation is literally just going to be in the house with no internet for a week. That's it. That's going to be the vacation. You're moving into a new place. Yes. Okay, congrats. So, uh, Thank you. Be happy for you? What the fuck? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Jackie, here's the thing. You know black people don't want black people to know that they have money. I didn't say nothing about money. You, you're if just you moving said you move into, into a, a new house, you, you basically say, oh, to hear you're rich, because I'm not. And, and, and you got a complex about being successful. You need to get help. Oh, today. Jackie, he needs therapy. He needs therapy. He today. really got to let it go, man. He, to hear still think he's on the street, bro, stop. <laughs> Listen, I you're call not, Kim. You're not, in, you're not in St. I, Louis looking for bags. It's not I in call, St. Louis I anymore, Jackie. I called Kev today because I was at I was at the office today. I was like, "Yo, we got cameras in here." He's like, "What?" I was like, "Cause you know, there's equipment out, and you know they ain't no safe, and we ain't got no security guard specifically for this place." Yo, can can we 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 should get we should get something in here? And um, he was like, "No, to here, you're not you're not in East St. Louis anymore." I was like, "It don't matter." I was like, I, I don't was like do you don't lock the nobody. cameras up? What if the janitor steals the iPhones? I was like, we have insurance. To, what, are, what? Why are you worried about the janitor? I said, listen, I, I, I got a safe at the crib. I'm going to bring the safe up to the office. We put the phones in there. We like the phones and the mics, the lights up. We put everything up. He was like, we don't have to do that. <laughs> Spice kiss my ass. They can't see that. Spice not my See, his mic is hot. To hear you got hood trauma. You got to embrace. I do has hood trauma. Embrace success. And listen, here. I could be going in the Chick Fil A. The first thing I'm doing is looking for the exits, like no, the emergency exits. Like I, I want. Your... I need to know how we get out of this thing and something pop off. I'm I not do. saying don't lose your your hood sensibility. Every black man should always keep that street that he knows. But when you level up, you should, you're, you're blessed. <laughs> I'm going I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna mute the fight because he's trying to give me he's trying to give me a strike. All right, thank, a strike. thank you guys. <laughs> Tony Baker, bro, Tony Baker, Spice you Adams and Tony and then, Baker are time, never Spice gonna let me live that down. Control. Tony Baker next, then Spice Adams. Oh, so me? Yes, you're Tony Baker. Yo, um, you know, uh, check out Working Wild. The new episode drops Saturday. Um, if you haven't seen the episodes already, go to All Deaf on YouTube. Check them out. Uh, you can buy my ringtone right now. I got the damn Rudy ringtone and Skip That Diddly D. Uh, available on, on uh, iTunes and Tunes for the Android peeps. Also, uh, follow me on Twitch, Tony Baker Comedy on Twitch. And yeah, that's all I got for now. What happens on Twitch? Is that only for gamers? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, okay. Cleo is out. the master at Twitch, man. He, I'll check it out. He has mastered it. So Twitch.tv uh, slash Cleo Thomas pull up, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's an event over there. Thank you, um, sir. Spice Adams, what you got for us? You got a hot mic. I'm so scared that he's quiet right now. Spice, you can't play the music. They're going to give me a strike. He'll get in trouble. Hey, wait a second. Hold on, man. Hold on. My fault. Um, is it my is it my turn? Is it on me? It's so you, baby boy. Okay. Hey everybody. Um, go to uh shop, period. Uh my nickname is Spice and my last name is Adams. And then you're gonna put a period after that. C O M. And then you can buy uh, uh, a lot of merchandise. You can buy shirts and um, all types of uh, paraphernalia. And also, um, and since I'm not a hater or nothing like that, man, uh, make sure you go to uh, uh, iTunes, type in Tony Baker, and you can get two of his ringtones. You can get, um, uh, what's the one? He says, uh, skip that diddly dee. Hey. And then I want to say, damn, Rudy. You can get both of those at the same time if you want them. But also go to shop.spiceadams.com. Follow me everywhere at Spice Adams. I try to keep everything consistent on Instagram as well as all of the other social media. And I also have a website, spiceadams.com as, as well. I hate it here. I hate it here every goddamn day. Every day. Every day. Every day I hate it here. I hate it as Adams. well. Kev is hurting right now, bro. <laughs> Spice. He's hurting. Yo, Spice will not do right. He will not unplug the mic. He won't do what you want him to do. <laughs> you told him he was. All he did with the whole night is yell into the mic that was already loud. 
painfully loud. Is it, is it really loud though? <laughs> nice. Is it hot? <laughs> it's so funny to me. Inferno, <laughs> spice. Is it hot, man? It's mad okay. funny. I, I, well, I gotta scoot it back. Is it still hot? <laughs> oh. All right, I scooched it back. Some more. Scooched it back. Kevin Stays, what you got for us, bro? <laughs> I can't do Bro, spice is the worst ever, bro. Over there. <laughs> what is that? Is it still <laughs> hot? <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh, so on the edge of my desk. You a fool, Spice. Bro. Oh, my God. Okay. My cash okay. app is at to hear more. Go ahead and send me something. Uh, new, that- new wording is hard coming out Wednesday. We just had a delay this week. We have, <laughs> we, have a, uh, we, had Teddy, we had Teddy Ray the week before that. Titty Ray and Jesse, the other <laughs> Jesse, Ray. the white man, before the week before that, you know, what I'm saying Zoom with the home is gonna take a week off or two. We're gonna be back. Make sure you check that out. And, um, uh, you know, check me out on Brooklyn 99 on your Hulu app. And, um, just you know, what I'm saying pull up and uh, <laughs> and that's all I have to say. And thank you everybody for the for the cash out blessings. That was oh that. Hey, hey Karen, hey, Tony. Huh? Get it. Take a look. Look at look at to here. Huh? Look at me. What? Look, what? At, look at Cleo. What is wrong? Huh? Oh, we got hair, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. I got hair? No. Oh, we got are. hair. You don't have hair. No. Oh. It's not a you. It's, it's not a you. No units, man. Listen, uh, I wanna I wanna thank uh Tisha, Candace, Jamil, uh Shellamore, AT Alien, uh Taronda, J Pace, Tavon, Mary and Terrence, Shay, Charnika, Patrice, Leo King, Dylan, E Shorts, uh, Maya, Brittany, Lavelle, Aze, Edward, Kervin, Irvin, James, Irvin again, uh C Shello. Oh, um, Nama, uh, LeBaron, Nakisha, Jennifer, Soph, Marco Otego, J Mo, K Man. Uh, thank y'all so much for Ooh, the here. Did not get God called damn. on to read aloud in Jesus. class. Boy, Jesus, they got to skip you over. I mean, whoo. I meant volume. I didn't mean his enunciation, but okay. To hear them words be beating you up. <laughs> hi, hi, Farron, to hear his wife. Uh, Farron just said, she just sent me like six six different um, <laughs> swimsuits. She just I don't know where she got these swimsuits from, but they they don't even constitute a swimsuit because they naked. What is wrong with you? Your, your huh? wife's body is amazing. Take it out, shake it, it, jiggle it. She 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 yeah. Here's the thing though, they probably cost like eighty dollars, and it's literally six dollars worth of material. It's but they quality. fired them. Um, every Monday through Thursday we have Zoom with the homies. Where Every Wednesday, we have um, a new episode of Wording is Hard. You can check out um, this week. We have D-Lay on there. Last week, we have Teddy so Ray. Funny, Every Friday, we have uh, a new episode of Dead Silent Listening Party. And every Holy Thursday, we catch a new comments, episode bro. of Damn Internet, You Scary, man. You can also subscribe to the Patreon. We got a lot of exclusive content on the Patreon. Um, super excited that everybody pulled up tonight. Spice Adams came back after his uh, his IG live with Avion Crockett. That's huge, man. I appreciate you, brother. We want to give a big shout out to uh, Cleo Thomas, Mr. Slick Living. It was his first time on the show. Jackie's right. eyes are going crazy. Tony Hold on, let me just read you what Tony Adam put in the is. comments to here, please. And I promise I'll be done. Tony, yeah. Tony, Tony put in the comments, hi back, Shaleem, Shay, Nikisha, LeBaron, Terrence, Nova, Jennifer, So, Marco King, Marion Caveman. Thank y'all. Are those real people? That's what to hear sound like. <laughs> those are the real people, Kev. <laughs> it's just funny to read it. <laughs> Yo, y'all are the best, man. I, listen, this is better than drugs. Last I, I want to say, Kevin, you should uh, never get high. You couldn't handle it. Oh, gosh. I can't imagine. What, laughing at y'all just be yourselves. I don't know what drugs will feel like. I am. <laughs> listen, this is. This, the versus battle spot, followed by this. 
I am, bro. Y'all have me dying. It was a good night. That, to have that lead into this. This was a great night. It was a great, was a great night. night. Listen, I'm not happy nice. for the quarantine, but I'm thankful for Versus. Versus oh my couldn't God. have come out without this. Listen, man, a, I am great. working on. I'm working on something big, uh, and I'm super excited. Super excited about it. So, uh, you guys, you don't want to hear about our appreciation about for the evening. He don't. He what? didn't want to hear nothing. <laughs> you said what, Jackie? You didn't want to hear us appreciate the evening. We're including you. No, no, it wasn't that. I was just trying to stick to the time constraint. Everybody got something to do. We in different times. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. It's nine night. Night. Everybody going to bed. What you talking about? I go to bed at nine o'clock. Jack Fabulous. Tony's gonna Tony's gonna go on some other social media site for three hours. Ain't nobody oh, doing that. Tony ain't else. going to bed at five o'clock in the morning. Oh no, Tony's a hoe. Not in his actions, but on how he stay up. He's he's a whole college whore. He stay up all night. Wow. Come home, lay down when the sun's coming up. That's when he lay down. He's a whore. Then I'll be up early in the morning. Shut your street walking ass up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's been another episode of Zooming with the Homies. Thank you guys so much for pulling up. We'll see you tomorrow for another show. Peace out. Thanks for pulling up, guys. <laughs> Zooming with the Homies. Sing the song, Spice. Sing it. Zooming <laughs> with the homies.